What's happening, lads? Just before we kick this week's episode off, just to remind you, my tour runs all the way through until the end of May, and I've still got some really big shows coming up, including Cardiff, Blackpool, Leeds, Huddersfield, York, and, of course, Liverpool at the m and Bank Arena. They're not the only dates, though. Go and check them all out. Full listings at adamrow.co.uk forward slash tour and help bring home the biggest tour I've ever done. It's been an absolute dream, and I'm so excited for the rest of the schedule. Dan? If you want to see me live this year, DanNightingale.com. I'm doing Dan Nightingale and Fiend shows all around the country. They go from March right through to November. Some of my very funny mates and me on stage, you're going to enjoy it. It's going to be mayhem. DanNightingale.com for those. But we've got to tell you before we start today's episode about our Patreon, the biggest patron in the UK, one of the biggest in the world for a fucking reason. Patreon.com slash have a word pod options to sign up for three, five or 10 quid. But even if you just take the three quid option, you get all the bonus content we put out. And that includes early access to these public episodes, a bonus episode every single week and access to the specials where we release one a month and they could be absolutely anything. We took the whole team to Nashville and we filmed all that. That was a full three parter. We've been to Amsterdam. We've done ghost hunts. We've done lock-ins in here where we've got rotten drunk and the entire back catalogue of all of that. You get all of it immediately when you sign up at patreon.com slash have a word pod. If you love this podcast, you will love being a Patreon. People don't leave once they start. It's the best place to be. You get the best content. You get the naughtiest content. Those patron exclusive every week. They've been naughty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> patreon.com slash have a word pod. Also, enjoy like the, the episode. Like the video as well and subscribe yeah, yeah, yeah. and ring the bell and all that. all that. Helps us cost you nothing. Get on me. No, I mean. Wag wag leads, you're listening to the funniest podcast in the game from the heart of Liverpool with Adam, Dan, Sensei Carl, and Finn. This is the one and only Have a Word. Brought to you by Manscaped, the very best product on the market for below the waist grooming. Go, Ed, get on me. I need some advice, boys. Okay. I need Whoa. some advice. Hang on, let me try and guess what sort of area of your life this is in. Okay. I don't think it's going to be. You got told off. What? Hang on. Let the man do his psychotherapy. Okay. Is it and wife it's, related? It's wife related. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought you got told off for the old. Sucking dicks. Yeah. Yeah. That's wife related, isn't it? Because she's going to be the one that's going to be most fuming about that. Yeah. Not that she's homophobic, but she does count a dick as cheating. Does she? Yeah. She's old fashioned. Right. Or new wave. I don't know. But she's not into it. <laughs> I haven't checked, by the way. I just know instinctively. I haven't had to say, hey, Laura, can I just nosh on a, a knob? Nosh on a knob. Have you got a a jumper that's longer than your shirt? Yeah, sorry. Under your shirt. Sorry. It's going to do my head in all day, that. All oh, right. Well, I'll and I, and I do that sometimes, but now I've done it. You love no, layers, no. don't you? Don't you such your layers, man? You're like a lasagna. I've got no layers on today. I'm layered. just got me jumping. I haven't got a t-shirt. I, I do that quite a, often. Look, jumper, and then ham. Yeah. Oof. You don't need layers. That's a layer of natural fucking layer. That ham. Anyway. You are a layer. That's a layer of natural layer. I weighed myself this morning on the lightest I've been, like at any point in this weight loss journey, and I don't feel it. I, do, I think I'm like fatter now than I was in October. I felt skinnier then, but I'm not. I'm mad to that. I weighed myself this morning, and I'm the, say, the same weight as last week, and I just went, no, that's a lie. I weighed myself in 2007. I was doing just fine. <laughs> and I just left it there. I thought, you know, you can weigh yourself too much for me. I'm having one meal a day this week because I want to be skinny for me uh, special recording on Saturday. All right. Like prison. Can but I get the advice I fucking came for? Go if on, we just wandered off in an age. No, you, do you know what just happened then? You went, God, you're fucking, that's going to do my head in layers, weight, special. That was ADHD. <laughs> we all heard it and saw it live. You just went, this, that, that, what? Who are you? Is it if you want to stop going off on tangents, then this podcast is going to go in the bin very quickly. Yeah, it's got absolute. Should call tangent. it Have a Tangent. <laughs> have a Tangent. It's time to have a Tangent, sponsored by Tangerine. Um, wh- are you excited about the special? <laughs> what advice you need, Don? <laughs> no, I don't. Let's roll with it. It's just my life, isn't it? Don't worry about it. No, uh, my wife says I can't suck dick. I need advice. Right. Dear Adam, <laughs> my life's in the bin. I love my wife. But I just want to suck a dick. I want to. I want to help you. Tell me, what, tell me what's going on. Mother's Day's coming up. It is, yeah. Yeah. Mothering Sunday. No stress. Right. You're the second person I've heard call it Mother and Sunday this week, and I haven't heard that for like decades. Well, I don't call it Mother and Sunday, but it just popped in my head because that is what it used to be called, isn't it? You're the third person, actually. Sorry. Right. When's fucking Father's Day? It's been about three or four months after, isn't it? <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking women. They always get it first, don't they? 
We should have ours in February in the cold. Where's Dad? His Father's Day. He's in the garden, fucking freezing. No one's come round to the barbecue because it's fucking pissing down. Anyway, it's Mother's Day. It is Mother's Day. And sad day for people like me and you. You know. It, yeah, but I got a bit of inheritance. And um, so I did. I had to give it all to Carl. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm never getting this advice. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Have we saw this one before? He didn't have to, and I re actually refused the money. I owed Carl. A she grand. owed me money for sucking me cock for fucking years, and she oh, passed the debt on to Adam. <laughs> oh, it was fuck money. It was fuck and she money. She passed the debt down to Adam. And, yeah. She was like, "Please let me." I suck owed it. Carl a grand. A my mum left me about twelve hundred quid, and it was I was all like, yeah. a grand." It was like, "Yeah, lad, it is the money I owe." And he was like, "I don't want that money," and I was like, "Well, you're just gonna have to have it because I don't." This know. This is the only money, from... money that's coming. Yeah, what the you did was you took me into the bank. Was your dad there? Yeah, your dad was there. Yeah, and I didn't know. I thought we were just going to the bank. He owed me fifteen hundred pounds from years of partying. Worth it. Yeah, I probably the death probably even rose off. It was because I go, do you want to go out? We go. I've got no money. I go. I have. Let's go. And then we go on. <laughs> and it'll be boss. I'm a student. Don't worry. Literally. Got um, and then he, he hang on. Do you still owe that money? Uh, I owe more. I went back to uni after that. <laughs> I owe more. <laughs> <of it. laughs> the reason he had so much money then is we both got into uni and he had his student loan and I didn't. And we both left. So he had all of his student loan money and no degree to do and, and lived at home with his mum. Yep. So he just had this, this pot of money he had nothing to do with. So we would just go out with his money all the time and be like, oh, I'll just pay you back one day. I didn't drop Hang out on. officially so I could get the money for us to go out. Right. <laughs> so you went, applied for the loan, but dropped out too quick and they went, oh, you're not having it. Yeah. No, no, no. I dropped out because I hadn't applied for the loan yet. and was like, that checks out. I don't want the money because then I won't have any debt. I want to just go and do stand-up. I want to go through a third party. Yeah. Carl. So I, I got in, dropped out by Christmas, but didn't tell anyone because I was like, I still want the fucking money. So I got all the money and took us out for a year. Unbelievable. So you... So I owed him 1,500 quid and my mum died. And but he came I, back from... The, I was in the bank. He went, I'm just going to the bank with my dad. So I stood at the back. He came back to the back of the bank and went, yeah, lad. And I went, what? He went, I owe you money. I was like, do not give me that fucking money. It's from his mum dying. Don't... And I was like, doing that. I he, don't want it. But are we going out? And he, like, on you. he was like, no, take it. I was like, lad, please don't. And he, like, he literally went, no, please don't take this money and he didn't argue for that long oh please i won't take that money second time asking yeah all right yeah, yeah. and then he, 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 he bit me hand off me. do you find <laughs> so it sad now. do you find mothers <laughs> <laughs> how fucking hell all right i thought he spent it <laughs> oh physical um what was that what was that noise it's cool, cool. well physical uh, uh, um do you find it sad mother's day no no nah i mean no nah i don't know Mother's Day is a bird, isn't it? Just be asked. She's lovely all year, and I tell her all the time. She needs flowers. Just it's for the fucking card shops, isn't it? She feels sad for the card shops. Yeah, I don't I don't think the sadness is the same for you, Carl. You've still got your mum and she's a father. Great. Ow. It's the same. You have got a father though. I've, I've, yeah, but I haven't have I? No. <laughs> Our father. I've got I've got like Schrodinger's father, haven't I? <laughs> 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 the Scouts Lord's prayer. Lad. Our father, who had him fucking Benadorm on my half. He's over there. One of them. It's I've a got, fucking tax dodge. I've got Schrodinger's father. Yeah. He literally might be the same place as your mother's. I don't know. Right. So it's the same, isn't It'd it? It'd be really weird if your dad's in Allerton Cemetery, by the way. <laughs> I'd be mad. It would be mad. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> dad. Uh, no, I don't find it sad. But I don't think about stuff like that loads. I don't know. What's the point? She, when you when you lose a parent, you're like, it's done, isn't it? I've, I know people get, I know people get like, oh, but what have you lost? And I feel like they almost like, they feel jealous that other people haven't, or like, it's not fair. I, I never thought like that. I was like, yeah, it's brutal. It's happened. And then you just get on with it. I never, I've never, I don't, I've never wallowed in it. I don't think you dealt with it properly, did you? He didn't. It doesn't sound like you have either. I, I make jokes about it. Like last week, me mate yeah. sent me a picture of her mum in the kitchen. Like this is me mum uh, cooking tea. And I took a picture of my empty kitchen <laughs> and sent it back. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, here's mine. Oh. She was like, I feel so bad for laughing yeah. as much as ever. And there's Jack Finnegan. He's, <laughs> he's my mum now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd yes. love Last Jack. night, it was just me and Jack in the house, right? Uh, Kieran and our other housemate was down south for work. Uh, me and Jack made dinner together. We made chicken gyros oh. with homemade tzatziki. And then we had a cup of tea and a game of chess. And then he read you a story and took you in. <laughs> 
I'd love Jack Finnegan to be my mum. We started watching New Girl together. It's great. <laughs> New Girl is good. Fine. <laughs> is so Nick nice. is Nick your favourite? Nick's me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nick is me. Imagine having a two and what? What? He's probably about 15, 16 stone, six foot two mum with a beard who likes going down to pogues. Be fucking class. <laughs> be a fucking belt of be amazing. <laughs> Don't don't start on me, Mum. Shite at chess though. First game of chess in about a decade. And smoked him. He sucked his dick. <laughs> Beat him at chess. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is your first game in ten years. Come me. <laughs> what is it about all your mums? Blowjobs. Go on, what's your advice for? Listen, now? it's important to her. She's registered the. You know how I know this? Because last year I did fuck all and she really got annoyed. She's so chilled out about all the other birth, her birthday. She's not that bothered. She's not your she, mom, Christmas. Is she? Hang on. No, it's she's not. Her, it's up to her to the Jack. That's just lazy. Yeah, and they do to, fuck all. Yeah, she wants you to role play essentially. Yeah. M call they, her mummy on Sunday. She'll love that. Oh, I'd love to. During sex. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's Mother's Day, isn't it, you bitch? <laughs> Don't say that. That's not the same, is it? <laughs> is that what you say to Pam? <laughs> I can't remember the made-up name for your. Why mom. are you being moody? Oh, it's Mother's Day, you bitch. No wonder you're all moody. I've done fuck all two years in a row now. <laughs> it's a try. Just, this is how you know if you've got a fucking sound mum. Try and write in a card. It's Mother's Day, you bitch, and just pass it over and see what happens. No. Oh, um, have, a weird, have a weird Mother's Day card. <laughs> coming, coming soon. Stop fucking whinging, you old bag. So you want advice on what to do for Mother's Day? Because she's gone, A, hey, it's important. And to be fair, she's not asked about Christmas or birthday. She's dead, chilled out about it. What... I need to, so I need, because you know women. <laughs> you know, yep. you know, yep. you, I, I know you. You know what my advice is going to be. No, but I know you've never been married and you've never been a dad and you're not married to a, a, a mom. <laughs> but I, but, matter, but you it? know women. And I do. You know my wife. Yeah. You know. My and, wife. My wife. Oh, what do you need advice bag. with? What? What's, what's a buyer? I don't know. I just. She doesn't I care need, need what help. the kids get her. Just get two cups. Yeah. One off get her, one off Jack. <laughs> Put, get her a bunch of flowers that's off the both of them. Two cups. Mugs. Yeah. Mugs. Women love mugs. They do. Oh or, or jet skis. Oh, can I just say? You're right. No, <laughs> I She really loves mugs. Give her two mugs, one off each kid, a, bun a big bunch of flowers off both of them, and lick her pussy. At the same time? <laughs> no. Yeah, no. She'd be made this is a separate. <laughs> Guys. This is a separate. Right, kids, you're Women giving your mugs. Racing. Is Four. that not your perfect Four. Sunday? The Couple mug. of new mugs. Flowers on the windowsill and a big fucking squirting orgasm. Come the, on. The mugs have to be shit though. Like they made them or drew on them. They can't right. be like just like fucking like Oliver Banas. Like he yeah, has a lovely mug. This is getting She so wants much it to be shit. Just get two white mugs and some Sharpies and go write your name on that and mummy and she'll fucking cry her eyes out. Right. She does love mugs. Of course she does. We never have more than three people in the house drinking cups of tea. We've got 48 mugs. Women are so, eat, like, they love so few things. Mugs, look, look, They love so many things. And you just have to get them some of that. A couple of mugs, get some new potpourri. <laughs> oh, potpourri. They love potpourri. Fucking hell. got Laura exist in the late 80s. <laughs> get her yeah, some doilies. Massive. Get her some new doilies. And they love beepers. Mugs. Yeah. Get a, like, a, a printer of your favourite song lyrics. Huh? You I thought could... you said get her a printer. <laughs> get her a printer. Get Dad. her an Epsom. Change get the... her an HP. Change the fuse Fuck. in the Hoover. Do you mind, Cal, we're talking printer. <laughs> Change the fuse in the Hoover and get that Hoover sucking a little bit stronger Clean than it was the last Hoover week. Out. And That's... she'll be like, Dan, if you done something to my Hoover, it's performing better than you. <laughs> is, that a, is that a euphemism? <laughs> I don't think now that's how fuses work. sucking really. better. I want to suck more. Talk me through fuses. I don't think... The fuse is gone. And it needs cleaning right, out. Right, right, right. The fuse went eight months ago, <laughs> but I was waiting for fucking Mother's Day. Yeah. The house is an absolute shithole. My allergies are through the roof. <laughs> but hey, look what I did for Mother's Day. Change the fuse. You can't do it. You're just a woman thinking about mugs and oral sex. <laughs> and mortgages. And more, she doesn't think about Pay mortgages. Pay the mortgage that's off. all my... What? Pay the mortgage off. Ah, cool. I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> Have women always loved mugs, or is there an age where they get to where they suddenly 40. love mugs? Oh, no. When I was clubbing, I was 18, I was on pills. Sometimes you, you couldn't move for women with mugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they were there for the beats and trying to get laid, but they were also there for the mug. It's like, when what the fuck are you talking about? their first baby. The second their water's break, they're like, oh, my God, my water's broke. Catch it in a mug. Tea. Take us a cup of tea. Hit me favourite mug. Not yeah. just any old shite. Yeah, all right. So two... Baby. I love so mugs as well, mugs. by the way. Have you got I a favourite mug? mug? Yeah, me Vanderbilt one. Oh, the black oh. one. Oh. You're a Vanderbilt dad? 
I think I've got Vanderbilt dad mug. I've, I've just got Vanderbilt on mine because I haven't got any kids. Did you? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. I've got, got one work. from the Van Gogh Museum as well. Oh, you have got mugs, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, you're going to be a great mum one I've day. I've got a Slytherin one because I'm a Slytherin, you know? Yeah. I've got that. two mugs you bought me. Yeah? Los Poyos Hermanos. The and, uh, uh, Breaking Bad reference mugs. That's cool, so, yeah. Yeah, that was a really well-timed Christmas present, wasn't it? Um, right, mugs. So I'm going out mug shopping today. You've got to yeah. be shit. No, they've got... Why are they shit? Plain white mugs. Plain white mugs. And get, like, uh, mug paint. Mug paint. And get the kids to paint yeah. them. Yeah, they Hose. do them in the works. Yeah. They do, like, paint your own mug. Oh, these are going in the bin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. They're not going in the bin. Mugs. This she is what will. you don't understand about women, she Dan. Will. She'll she will. She loves. will love it because the kids have made it. Yeah. No, I don't think so. And it's, act it's like you be... didn't even know they'd done it. Go, whoa. Oh. And then they look even better. It's got to be, they've got to be mugs made by some woman that uses a full name as a designer. Like Christine Bleakley. Yeah, Christine Bleakley. <laughs> <laughs> Only available at John Lewis. It's just names. Don't tell me she hasn't got kitchen where she deaf I was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pictures of him, Frank, <laughs> on plates. <laughs> two flowers. Two. Uh, no. T two bunches of flowers. No. That you're not listening. Two mugs. One big bunch of flowers. He can I check the fucking VAR? He definitely said two bunches of flowers, didn't he? No, All right. No. Okay. Right. Two mugs. Yeah. One flowers. Shit two oral flowers. Sex. But you pretend you don't even know about the mugs. Like sh what she really wants <laughs> is to know that you've helped the kids. But you, you. <laughs> this is Christmas Day for women. You know, you got, you got to <laughs> get involved. Day, isn't <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but you've got to get Mother Nature came down the chimney. You've got to get I didn't even touch these. You've got to get involved with like the charade of like, it's part yeah, yeah, of yeah, Christmas, yeah. you know, the kids did this, love. The she knows did you did it. The kids kept the receipt as well, yeah. just in case I fucked it up. <laughs> the kids, <laughs> she knows you've done it, but you present like the kids did. So you, like the flowers, you yeah. give it them in the morning and then maybe at night, you put like one mug on each of your bed stands, but you don't want to see that. And just as you finish licking it out, you go, hey, and I'm looking at them. Are you thirsty? Where have they come from, eh? She, she, she comes uncontrollably. She's got it everywhere. Ruin the carpet. Hey, and there's a mug from your kids. That's what you like thinking about, isn't it? Just after you squirt your children. <laughs> Here's some flowers. Not two bunches. That's ridiculous. One bunch. Now put your knickers on. Go and hide these mugs. Unbelievable. Great advice. No cards. We're not going cards. <coughs> Car don't cards. Don't buy default. Yeah. No. Oh, like, cards. Oh, mums do you, love cards. You love, you, you hate cards and you've managed to find this magical, perfect woman who just agrees with everything you do on all sorts of holidays. But women love shite like that. Yeah, make yeah, them, yeah, yeah. Make yeah, them yeah. yourself as well. Get pictures of the kids. There's and so it much looks like they've across. driven the car. They've gone to the shop to, like, Etta's like. Yeah, so there's a photo shoot now involved. Yeah, and it looks like Etta's drove to the shop. Oh, to nice buy the one. Mugs. Down Parkgate Road towards Chester. It's 50 miles an hour, but I'll stop. Get the car, like. Yeah. yeah, yeah, nice. That pictures of the kids things just give me another idea, though. Nice, good. That's what I want. I want more. <laughs> Are the FBI involved? <laughs> what? Because this is a good way to get the FBI off. The <laughs> no, there is, this is. They might get involved with this, actually. So you, you take Esther and Jack to, like, I don't know, a, a, like a... An a <laughs> <laughs> Made himself laugh thinking of his own bullshit there, guys. Processed it, lined it up, and then laughed at how stupid it was. Go on. Take them to like an abandoned jail or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah Alcatraz, yeah, yeah. Alcatraz, fly them to Alcatraz. Alcatraz, yeah. Take can, a photo can we do of somewhere them. somewhere in Cheshire? Go on. Take a photo of them in the jail cell and then hire a babysitter right. for like a night. In the jail? No. Oh, no, put them in the Premier or something. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. They're out of the building. Yeah. And then <laughs> Not, you show no, that Can I Photoshop the jail or do I have to be in an abandoned jail? It depends whether you yeah. believe... And Laura's any good at spotting Photoshop? Yeah, she's, she's, no, yeah. Because you're going to show Laura the picture and go, love, look, I was about to do loads of Mother's Day stuff, but we've had a threat against our children. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're in jail. And then you... They're in, they're in San Francisco Bay. <laughs> yeah. And then you just, a couple of days later, you know, you collect them from the babysitter. So you get them we've back. We've had two days without the kids. So two days they've been held hostage. Yeah. What are we doing for them two days? Relaxing. Like, look, relaxing. <laughs> your, kids, your, kids, your kids have been... Enjoying time with your wife. Getting intimate again. Ah, oh, she. that's what she wants. <laughs> the old kidnap dick. Soon as the kids have been kidnapped, what can you do? You've got to wait for the call. <laughs> yeah. Haven't you? You're bored. You're bored. You might as well fuck. 
Yeah. That is classic, isn't it? Yeah. Once your kids go missing, it's fuck time. And you tell her, listen, you know love, the police are busy, but I've got a private investigator on it. And I can just be me. Change my name on your phone to P.I. Row. Or no, maybe not Row, that's on the nose. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit on the nose. P.I. Johnson or something, right? It had to have John in it, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that was even a surname and it had John in it. P.I., I don't know, John Johnson. And then you can just keep ringing me for updates and I can be like, I'm getting closer. And then in the end, I can just be like, yeah, you can come and get them now. Oh, so right. you, get, you, get two, you get two days where oh, you just sat yeah. there distraught about your children getting horny with your wife. Yeah, yeah, then you get yeah. your kids back. You don't have to paint any fucking mugs. And you look like a hero. You rescued them. This is the advice I really wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fake or kidnap. get some mugs. Whatever you think is easy. <laughs> right. The works. Yeah, I like it. I really like I like the second option because I know she's going to get horny. Do you want me to book the flight? To where? San I'll, Francisco. San Francisco. Yeah. Oh, we're going full there's, Alcatraz. There's abandoned jails in the UK. I think. Yeah, book the flights. <laughs> Great. It doesn't Great have to be in a jail. It just has to be somewhere that looks like they're in peril. Throw them in the sea. Throw them <laughs> in the sea. They, but they know how to swim, don't they? Because they're children. What, no, they, what children. are they doing in America? <laughs> These fucking kids. As soon as they get in there, swam there. Yeah, yeah. It took three months, but they'll do it. Children don't know how to swim inherently. It's only babies that get out of them. Ah, they, they lose their instincts. They forget. YouTube kids fucks them up. Kibs. What? Kibs. Kibs. <laughs> Kibs. I'd have had a stroke today. Thank yeah. you for your advice. I'll let you know how it goes. Don't get chocolates either because you go, are you calling me fat? Then you have to say yes. No. No, I don't think <laughs> I don't mean, when you give <laughs> women, women do chocolates, love chocolates. Get them fat. Even the skinny one. ones? Yeah. Don't get her like pasties. Then that she will be upset by that. Pasties for Mother's Day. Is that a thing? Is that a Liverpool thing? <laughs> don't get her like steak bake. Like fathers for justice. <laughs> <laughs> Climb up that tallest building in Chester. With the sign that says past the Easter Mother's Day. Oh, she'll feel good. I climb up the tallest building in Chester while my children have been fake abducted. <laughs> throw, throw pasties at her. And then it's just pound town, isn't it? You What's her be- favourite meal? Pasties. Death row. She's, genuinely, She's a traditionalist. I don't know. Something dead healthy. How do you not know what your wife's f- favourite meal is? What the fuck am I? I'm not Pizza involved in that. Cream. That's Seneca's. Oh, something really obnoxiously healthy. Really? Is she a healthy oh, woman? because she's so healthy. Her farts stink. She's so healthy. She eats really well. It'll Do you be never so- cook for that ever? <laughs> Do you know I'm done that again? <laughs> what the fuck kind of cooking am what's I doing? No- for- what's a naughty meal? Like, oh, Dan, I'm feeling naughty. You've licked me out well there. Go and get me a pasty. Um, no, I, I, she just basically gets the takeaway that I'm getting, like Caspian or something. You know, like, if I get a kebab, she'll be like, oh, fuck she it. She hasn't got a naughty meal, though. <laughs> No, I reckon that might be it. I reckon that'll do it. Take away. She's a bit of a Mackie's fiend when she lets herself go. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I honestly, unless it's a medically needed Mackie's, I could do without Mackie's. What's a Mackie's order? Uh, has a Big Mac sometimes, yeah. Large fries, Big Mac, and the uh, seasonal option, you know, like mozzarella sticks or halloumi fries. So why don't you on Sunday? She's on a diet. She's been on a diet since the start of the year. She's yeah, lost over a stone. Sunday. Really? No, diet. calories don't count you. on Mothering Sunday. She is strong, staying strong. She's physically smaller. I can't fuck with her. Make her a homemade Big Mac with mozzarella sticks. Oh, fake oh, away. That's what she wants. What she really likes done badly. <laughs> yeah. The kids have Why gone. They've been abducted. Here's a fucking <laughs> shite Big Mac. Get your knickers off. I'm mocking you out. Happy Mothering Sunday. Here's a pasty. Where's that come from? Just going to Clam Town, the town hall. Where were you keeping that up? Yeah. Get in the car. We're going to town hall. And now it passed the second course. But you know, what, you know what all that says to me? Effort. That's all women want, really, is effort and, like, little shite they can fill space with. <laughs> effort and mugs. <laughs> yeah. And, and abductions. Yeah. Yeah. Get it? What's your favourite song? Have you two got a song? Got loads of them. <laughs> <laughs> They're singing them in the sphere now. <laughs> Go with Beautiful Day. That's my favourite <laughs> one. That's a good one. Uh, it's a sun, the Sunday, show. bloody Sunday. <laughs> Get her the know, it's not the most romantic, but she's deeply <laughs> she's deeply affected by the troubles in Northern Get Ireland. Get her the lyrics to Beautiful Day printed over a picture of Des Lyon. <laughs> yeah. She can think back to when the Premiership had the rights to... Oh, oh, everyone on ITV that. had the rights to the Premiership. And you go, yeah, there was adverts. <laughs> and it was better anyway. <laughs> and then you can watch that all day. Oh, what a day. Have you and I got a song? What was your first dance to? Um, a Van Morrison song. Uh, Days Like These. 
and then it went into we sort of like what? What the what? We got us uh, karate mix. Yeah. Um, into Call Me Al by Paul nice. Simon. That's one of mine and Seneca's songs, though. We had a, a good old dance. So we danced to the first bit on our own for like a minute, and everyone went, ah, and then it mixed into the other one, and everyone joined in. Nice. What okay. did we ha- We had a little dance in the kitchen yesterday. We had a little slow dance to Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran. Lovely. We had a little. We had- so do you think she, like, does <coughs> she like that song? Bomb and it's getting smaller. I'm worried about that. Did did you did you enjoy that? Did she like it? Did she? Oh yeah. Does she like that song? Me loving you. You should record a version and sing it. Is yes. there a song that makes them think of the kids? But what? Is there a song that makes them think of Ether and Jack? Yeah, Baby Shark. Oh Get the lyrics of Baby Shark printed on a picture of Des Lynham. <laughs> <laughs> Quite small lyrics, though. God, you, God, it's so amazing what you know about women. You should write a book. They like Prince, though. So wi- they love. He's got Prince. some good songs as well. Baby Shark, do 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 do. Baby Shark, well, do 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 do. I would normally like if it was your anniversary, I'd say get like Call Me Al. Yeah, but it's no. about the children. Careful so rain. Because they love Prince. <laughs> he is on fire. <laughs> Absolutely on fire. I've got two prints coming on me, two favourite songs. Carl, I'm just waiting for Carl to do a job. No, no, you go for the last one. I've got two prints coming on me, two favourite songs. Ah, oh, you've got to treat yourself for Mother and Sunday, haven't you? <laughs> I just need some stuff to decorate me gaff, you know? What's the lyrics? Uh, one is You Should Probably Leave by Chris Stapleton. And the other one is You Found Yours by Luke Combs. Yeah, nice. Nice, love both of those tracks. <laughs> Bang Welcome on. into the house, You Should Probably Leave. Well, yeah, That's I did. What I said. That is what Carl said because I looked at making my own. I was going to design my own. I thought that'd be quite cool. Not having that on a bedroom wall, are you? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, it, the big letter said, You should probably leave. It's a threat. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a Some threat. If I walked into someone's room, it's sexy. If it's I walk, a sexy song and women love it. If I walked into women, someone's room what, you're and wrong, in you big letters, nothing, you know. it said, You should probably leave. I'm, yeah, like, I'm going to. Yeah, no, you wouldn't. Cause you, well, maybe you would because you're not a woman. Correct. <laughs> it's a single man. He's got to think about the mornings. It's awkward. You don't want to say anything. Babe, don't cuddle no, me. The Read idea, the wall. The <laughs> idea of the song. Read the wall. Get your shoes. <laughs> off your fucking pop. The idea of the song is like... I know. You know, you're having a drink and that, and you maybe going... A, it's a first date. You know, you're round, and you've been having a chat. You're halfway through a bottle of wine, and she's getting a bit frisky, and you're like, you should probably leave, but don't. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the subtext of the Things song. have changed, haven't they? Because it used to be, it's cold outside. If you leave, I'll break your legs. So yeah, get well, your wrapped up. It's like the opposite of that it's song. It's the opposite. Like, you should probably leave, but the implication the is don't. Not really. Go on. Listen, yeah, 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 I do. Yeah, yeah. You should probably leave. You should probably leave. But if you do, I'll kill your dad. Listen, so <laughs> I know it ain't all that late, but you should probably leave. Are we doing lyrics every And I recognise that look in your eyes. So you should probably leave. Because I know you, and you know me, and we both know where this is going to lead. You want me to say that I want you to stay, so you should probably leave. Yeah. Is he trying to get laid or not? You should probably... You've Except got you your wanna... pussy out on the coffee table. You should probably leave. <laughs> <laughs> You've just knocked a dog unconscious. You should probably leave. You've just shat on the kitchen floor. You should probably leave. You have just been it's dead racist against psychology, the Jews. It's isn't it? It's reverse yeah, psychology because yeah, yeah. if you tell a woman to do one thing, she's going to do the other. You should probably leave. She's like, I'm not fucking going anywhere. I'm Don't stay you tell me suck your dick. You should definitely not fuck me. How dare you tell me what to do? Get your knob out. <laughs> fucking hell. Tell you what, you've got a lovely mug collection there, lad. <laughs> women are easy, aren't they? <laughs> women. <laughs> you, don't, you leave and don't you dare suck me off. No. So listen. I will. <laughs> uh, like a devil on my shoulder, you keep whispering in my ear. And it's getting kind of hard for me to do the right thing. Yeah, I want to do the right thing. But he can't because he wants to fuck her. And then... Is he gay? Goes to the next bit. Sun on your skin. 6 (laughs) a.m. And I've been watching her. She's been trying to get rid of this bitch for ages. It's 6 a.m. You should probably leave. Five hours. (laughs) They got back to his at one. Will you just fuck (laughs) off, love? No. No, she's stayed the night now. Oh, listen. Sun on your skin. 6 a.m. And I've been watching you sleep. (laughs) You and should. you want these lyrics on your wall? Oh, this is murderous. You should have left. <laughs> now I'm going to wear your skin. <laughs> and honey, I'm so afraid you're going to wake up 
and say you should probably leave because now he doesn't want her to go. No, now he's worried she's there. gonna be like, I should probably go now. God, he's soft. Um, because I know you and you know me. We don't both know this is gonna leave. I want you to say, I want you to stay, but you'll probably say that you should probably leave. Yeah, you should probably leave. Oh, you should probably leave. End of song. Oh. You should probably leave. So I'm going to get that on my bedroom so wall. <laughs> wow. Let's hope they know Chrissy Stapleton. <laughs> Adam, mid-bang. Adam, that's a question. And what's the other one? You found yours. Oh, that's, that's a nice one, yeah. That one's got a nice sentiment. Just fuck off. <laughs> Trevor Brake. Come. You, you should probably break. What's happening, lids? How are we? Time to tell you about my absolute favourite sponsor, nordvpn.com slash have a word and using the promo code have a word will get you four free months when you sign up for their two-year plan. Do you use a VPN, Dan? I have got a fucking Scooby-Doo. What are you talking about? It's absolutely mad, that because you, we, these have been a sponsor now for, I think, seven years and we've only been doing the podcast for. I know, and we've been doing the same advert format for all that time, but I haven't got it. It's not in there. It's mad, isn't it? Talk me through it. Right, do you know when you go on Netflix or yeah. like uh, Amazon Prime or a, a streaming service, oh, yeah. Disney Plus? Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes you might go on something like that and you'd be like, do you know what Netflix will definitely have? Yeah. They'll have a few good men and he'll go, do you know what? Go Look on. at that. They haven't got a few good men. But then you Google it and it goes, do you know where they have got it? Taiwan. Taiwan today. Mozambique. Mozambique. Beirut, right? Be you can city. set. Okay. You can tell NordVPN to tell your computer, hey, listen, I'm in Oman. Can okay? you do that? By voice control. I, I'm in I'm in South Korea. Oh, Wherever right. you want. You go on a little digital holiday and you can watch a few good men. And if it's three o'clock on a Saturday, you want to watch the fucking Reds, you can watch that. Use Rotherham. NordVPN. Anywhere in the world you can set it to. You can sign up to these streaming services, let your computer know where you are, and on top of all of that... No. Improve your security. I hate malware. I'm still worried about it. I am as well. <laughs> it keeps you up at night. NordVPN.com slash have a word, promo code have a word, for three months when you sign up for two years. Up the rubber. Right. Went back to therapy yesterday, first time in a month. Cool. Good. Yeah. It's very positive. I think we're very... As, in terms of a podcast and a company... A very positive sort of working environment for yeah. mental health awareness. Yeah. I'm not saying we're not toxic in other places, but this one I think we've got handled pretty well. Yeah. Good she for asked, you, kid. She asked me why I keep running away every time we get somewhere interesting. Excuse me? Well, like, I, I forget to go places, don't I? Which is what I've done with therapy. So a couple of times I've just, like, forgot to go and then I don't go for a couple of weeks. And she's like, that's happened twice now. And that's because we were getting somewhere and you don't want to look at those barriers. It's just because you can't be asked. Yeah. No. He just read the war and said, I think you should leave. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, is that just not you just being a bit feckless with your own organi organization? Totally. And she accepted that after a brief conversation. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she she proposed like uh, a reason for my sort of absence. And I told her she was fucking wrong and shut up. And she did. That's yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. It's so yeah. right, Adam. Uh, well, Adam, it's so right. layered. It's difficult. 90 minute session yesterday. Whoa! Oh, meant to be an hour, but like at the fifty-five minute mark, it was too good. And we she had a revelation. Stop. What? She, yeah. You got overtime, extra time. She like at the end, I was like, oh, "I'm sorry, I've kept you ages there." She was like, "It's my job to control the time." It's just we got like somewhere really good at the end, and I didn't want to stop. Her. Yeah. Plus, she's going to write a PhD about you, isn't it? So it's you know, there's a guy it. outside who's going through a divorce. He's suicidal. Martin, you'll have to wait. Like it's more important to get that extra half hour. Well, I was her last client of the day. Oh, nice. Uh, did she charge right. you for that extra bit? No, no, it's free. The, it's the session is, you, you pay for the session, the session's an hour. Uh, but she's learning so much, she has to give him more time. Yeah, she's studying. He's helping her. Yeah. It's good. What was the, uh, can, can you what tell was, us what the revelation was? I'll tell you in a bit. Oh, it's private. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's one of them revelations. Adam, yeah. you are the best. How, have I just only just seen this? The second coming of Jesus it was, Christ. It was a revelation about why I get attracted to certain women and tell the rest of them that I'm the last. Tits. Tits. Massive tits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was like, Adam, I want you to keep pulling at this. What is it about these women? What if they all what got in color? Her what? tits. What are you pulling? She had a tits out. <laughs> the metaphorical thread. <laughs> she was like, what have they all got in common? And I was like, Brunette. jugs. Like, Brunette. Huge jugs. Uh, no, no, it's not that sort she, of thing. It's uh, wh why I end up interested in certain like personalities and the, like, why I always want what I can't have. What, like, fundamentalist Muslim women? 
Yeah. Keep pulling. I mean, that is mental, isn't it? I just want what I I matched on have. Hinge yesterday oh. with a devout Muslim woman. <laughs> well, I was just being silly, but wow. Are Amazing. They all, are, they, are, they all, are they on them, yeah? Yeah. What? Are they I what? Thought, I thought that'd be haram, though. Or like well, so did I. I don't know whether she's sunny or shite. <laughs> <laughs> but like Sonny or shit. But, <laughs> I think she thinks he's Muslim. Look at this David. He's from fucking Turkmenistan or something. <laughs> it doesn't uh, cause they're different, aren't they? One's like stricter or has got a different like view of uh, the Quran uh, uh, than the other one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what you mean? What? One's like, don't fuck comedians, the other's like, yeah, go ahead, go. <laughs> Nosh him off. See what well, happens. It says she's looking for a long term relationship and, and Anna, some more mugs. <laughs> <laughs> it says uh that she is a practicing Muslim. Was it Shamima Begum? <laughs> it wasn't Shamima Begum, no. Who liked who? What? Who liked who first? Um, I like. I she liked me. Right. Okay. Um, so I liked her back, and I was like, "That's interesting." I haven't spoke to her. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I haven't. What would you open with? There's genuinely, I, I think, across the because there's three. There's three dating apps on my phone. There's Hinge, Bumble, and Tinder. Find Muslim love. And I reckon app. combined, <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's probably about 300 matches that I've just never spoke to. They're all just there. What are you going to open with, with this Muslim I lady? don't know whether I'm going to talk to her because obviously I think she'd want me to convert yeah. and I'm not ready to I'd give I'd open with, salam alaykum. It's a good special. Salam alaykum, salam. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so, but yeah, it's mad. But she's full. Like, you know, I'm a practicing Muslim. She's got the fucking, the ass and that. Like she's she's fully Hi, like, don't, don't hijab. open with hijab. I like your hat. Yeah, cool, don't cool open lad. with I like your hat. <laughs> yeah. That would Why be my not? advice. Women love compliments. Hat. Is you it hijab? Them? Am I right? Yeah. It Get a lot of the hijab on what it is. Say. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Get a lot of the personalized hijab. <laughs> oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Because if she was full, Just a plain full, one and full then she'd devout, it. she'd she'd have the full thing, wouldn't she? The baker. No. And then I'll be honest with you, I'd have thought twice about swiping right there because I wouldn't have got all the information I needed. Lovely eyes. Yeah. yeah. They go to town on the eyes. Yeah. The hijab is like a lovely scarf, isn't it? Yeah. It is, yeah. Do you it know is. why they wear it? To, so I know why men, Muslim men wear, or Sikhs wear turbans. It's to like protect like the gods above or something. So they can't do the time. They're not, not allowed really. to cut the hair, are they, in, in Sikhism? Is it, and then they keep it and in. It's all just wrapped up. I believe, it. and this might just be wrong. But that's a totally separate religion, no, I mean, so like, we should probably... No, but like, I mean head garb and with, with, with theism and religion. And head guard? Guard. The boxes. Oh. Pat check. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, Peter Jack's a, 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 a Hindu. Um, <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Peter <laughs> Jack's a Hindu. <laughs> do, do, do. Um, I believe Muslim women wear hijabs because they think if men saw their hair that they'd all want to fuck them. Get your roots done, Gail. It's about modesty, isn't yeah. it? It's about, it yeah. That is what it is. Yeah, isn't yeah. It? I don't think you. I, don't, I think you might be paraphrasing. It's a bit. <laughs> it's, a bit it's a bit reductive. <laughs> Sisters, right. why do we wear the yeah. hijab? Because they're all out of fucking bang. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> they're horny bastards. Bo, Joe, and you haven't washed your hair and you put a hat on. Smashed it, haven't you? Did you know I was after wash today? They don't. Well, good luck with that. Can you, for the podcast, say hello to her? It just sounds like an interesting... You know, if we're talking about threads, pull at that one. Okay. So is that one that you'd want to pursue because it seems wrong? No. That's not that, what... That's not I didn't go the to therapy, therapy yesterday and go... Why would it be wrong? Been swiping right exclusively on devout Muslims. Why would, would it be yet? wrong, Finn? There is Muslim dating. Why would it be wrong? I get that targeted ad a lot. Yeah. Think well, you're just going for danger dates. <laughs> Not that it's dangerous, but it's, you know, it's unusual, isn't it? You said it was wrong. So, what? what Carl, right? stop going for him. Bitch. Man United fans next, what are we going for? <laughs> uh, I just, I, I think, uh, oh. it, I, I always feel like I have to earn it with women. What do you mean, babe? Like, if it's just given to me on a place, I'm like, fucking be gone. Yeah, the chase is yeah. part of the kill. But why? <laughs> Because you've earned, yeah, you've earned it. It's like, not unworth, not unworth Why is that important to me? This was the revelation we had yesterday. I'll tell you in a bit. Because you're young, when you were younger, you didn't get it so easily. You had to chase it. Now if it's, no, too, no, no, now no. If it's too easy, you no. feel like... And this is why you're not a therapist. I'm going to fucking clue what you're talking about. No, of course I'm usual. not a therapist. We're just having a conversation about <laughs> it. <I'm> not... <laughs> oh my God, I'm not a therapist. <laughs> what is it? I don't... I, like, is there, some, is there an element of that? Like, if it's too easy... 
I think a lot of our, like your perception of yourself is formed when you're like 14, 15, 16. Because I look pretty good at 14, 15, and now I look like a bald lump. But in my head, I catch myself and go, yeah, you're doing all right, Dan. Whereas I've got mates who are like a bit overweight and didn't do very well with girls at school. And they've really fucking worked at themselves. They look great now. They go to the gym, they're in better shape. Like, and But their perception is, oh shit, you've got to really work at it. I don't know what it is. Like cool. in and around that age, you sort of decide if you look all right. Like I genuinely, I look at myself some days and go, you fucking got it, kid. You're like, no, I don't. <laughs> Objectively, I know that I don't. You're I'm off. overweight. I've got fucking nowhere. Like, but in my head, I'm like, still got it. You have got it then, haven't you? But it, I don't know if that's just in me from being 15, 16. I did well with girls when I was that age. It was it was dead easy. And I, I don't know. Is there something there? What were you like when you were that age, 15, 16, around with girls and I stuff? I was always all right because I always had chat and like, yeah. Um, yeah, it, it, I was always fine. Like it, it's, it's not that at all. It's, it, it's, it's, it's linked to sort of my entire background and sort of what I've done with my life and how I've built me. He career. doesn't want to give the girls the trade secrets because they'll all be in his DMs saying what he wants to be. You know, yeah, that's what he's doing. It's fascinating. Rowie's mental health. I love it. Should we do some questions, boys? Go ahead. Um, oh, we have a question. Oh, I've pressed the wrong one. Come. We're going old school. Just the OG. Oh, is it? Fuck the OG, mate. Yeah. <laughs> this new sneak's banging, by the way. That bottle's great as well. Root beer. The worst flavors on Palace Earth with beer. Hey, Sneak uh, it brought out like a I soda range. I open it. If you don't like root beer, you'll absolutely despise it. Have you smelled that? Fish. We're no. trying to sell it, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't get that flavor. Absolutely. If you like root beer, they've done a really fuck. Do you know what? You've ruined the beat. It's mouthwash, isn't it? Oh, it's so nice. That bottle's but cool. Not even good mouthwash, like Listerine. I love root beer. Little There's Five Guys bottle. Yeah. It's cool, isn't it? Very American. Yeah. It's like an American soda range. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have a cheeseburger and, and a shake. shake. Two pints. Yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> I really like it when you don't make it <laughs> subtle. Um, anonymous, what's happening, lids? Got a confession for you. When I was 17, my sixth form rugby team would frequent a local Indian restaurant for our monthly socials as it was the only place we could get served. They must have been happy every time we booked in because we drank the place dry. After the season had finished, we arrived there for our end of season social only to be told we would not be served and would have a maximum time of 60 minutes to eat and get out. Naturally, we were all pissed off and determined to find out why. We came to find out that one of the lads' mums had called the place and told them that if they allowed us to drink there, she would uh, call the police and report them. We were desperate to find out whose mum it was, but couldn't work it out as nobody would either ask or confess. So obviously we all turned on the weirdest lad in the team, blaming him and his thunder cunt of a mum for ruining our social, forcing him to leave the team. I later found out after telling my parents that it was in fact my thunder cunt of a mother that made the call. Bruh. I was fuming, but never said anything to the team or the lad we bullied out of the team. Do I need Jermaine Penance or do I let sleeping incels lie? Cheers, lids. You don't need any penance because I think most people in your situation would have gone, too much has happened. I'm not going to mention this. I don't think... I don't think you would have helped anyone by mentioning this. You'd have ruined your own life. Everyone would have hated you. They then, what, what are they going to do? Try and like sort of make it up to this kid who you sort of harassed? No. Yeah, he's I already I think sad. you need to attack your mum. Yeah, physically, <laughs> verbally. Damage all the mugs. Oh, oh we'll turn your mic on as well. Oh, you're off, you're off Finn. It's gone. Oh, oh you're back. Hey, you're back. I'm back. Get emancipated. There we go. Emancipate. What does yeah. that mean? Like, it means se separate, it's like, like a from separation. Your mum and dad, divorce your parents. Oh, or or drug your dad and do stuff to him. Get a man sedated. Date rape your dad. That's the answer, <laughs> isn't it? Is emancipation? I can't even 18? think. What? I think you can do it at any point. Well, but I think you don't it's... need to after the age of eighteen. You're old enough to just go away anyway. How old are they? You don't have to. Uh, it's before you're eighteen that you divorce your parents. After that, you can just go, they've fuck got, off and leave me be. They've got like legal control. Didn't Macaulay Culkin divorce his parents? I think they're home alone. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, they just fucked off. Did he? Yeah, did he get mansplained? I know Bart does in the Simpsons. I think so. I think he did. Google did, on that. Didn't Lindsay, Lindsay Lohan um, do it as well? Basically, if you're thinking a, of the parent trap. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm thinking Vicky of loads of films. Child stars whose parents probably can try and control their lives and funds. That's probably likely. Yeah. Yes, he did. He yeah. Did get emancipated. At what age? Uh, fourteen. Right wow. now, because we've used emancipation so many times could you just re research what the emancipation proclamation is it's something to do with civil oh, rights but i literally need to know what it is um emancipation proclamation <laughs> i can't hear emancipate anymore all persons held as slaves within the rebellious states are and henceforward shall be free oh no yep okay it's about slavery <laughs> just needed to know lincoln emancipated all the slaves what, oh. a, what a dude have you seen the film lincoln with Daniel Day-Lewis? No, but it looks like I'd like it. It's so good, mate. If you're a bit history geeky, fuck, it's good. Um, it's a bit sham, in it. It's a bit sham to be... I think the instinct to bully the weird kid because you think his mum fucked you off, it's not great, but I School, know what it's like already? to be that age. School? The lads are just fucking, like, yeah. bad for it. And also, the weird kid could have gone, Mum, did you do that? Not, not that I'm victim-blaming, but I am. Like, he could have gone to his mum and gone, she didn't fucking do it. Look, she didn't do it. So, yeah. you've all got the wrong one. And he didn't do that. He was just like, Because he's oh, the weird I'm kid lost. and he smells of biscuits. So no one trusts him. In my head, it's JB, this kid. But he plays rugby. That is so unbelievably unlikely <laughs> to ever have any of those characters play rugby. I uh, I think you need you do need to do something to your mum and dad, yeah. It, what was it? They went met at an Indian place? Yeah. I think, you know, what happens when you go to an Indian and you have a bad one? Shit yourself. Ooh. I think... Laxatives. Um, yeah, lax of your mum and dad. Nice. Get, get your mum and dad, Why send them to dad? a rest. What? Why is dad? He's in. He's part of the problem. He's part of the conspiracy, isn't he? <laughs> Stupid little... Coke conspiracy. He should, have, he, should have, he should have said to his wife, don't be doing that. Yeah. My son's just having a bevy with his mates. How old do you have? Sixth form? Oh, so they probably... They're they might be of so. age or then... Seven. 16, 17, and you're marginalizing the local Indian fella and going, listen, don't be giving him a fucking cobra. By the nah, way, mate. by the way, this is a, this is Norma Nightingale down to a T. She was this kind of mum. If she didn't like what was going on, she'd be like, I don't care. And she'd be ringing and fucking, like, she was so like that. She was I'd give not chill. so many laxatives. <laughs> yeah. This is the best way. A controlled environment with adults is the best place to send your son for a drink. Or like she's going to the park and doing it. That's a good place to do it. It does depend how old your son is. Because if, it, if, if, if it's a five-year-old, you don't want to be sending them to a controlled environment with adults because that sounds like a paedophile party. They're basically going to an Indian restaurant for three and a half hours. <laughs> I've just literally rolled past that. They've got adults and the they've got a controlled environment. That's a great place yeah. to do it. But if you haven't got your mum's permission to get fucking wasted at an hey, Indian shit, restaurant. He's in sixth form. He wears his own clothes to school. Get fuck off. Most kids wear their own clothes to school, don't they? Oh, sorry. I thought you meant, yeah. I know, but it's someone else's uniform. Oh. Did you not have a uniform in your sixth form? No. Oh, shit. Ours did. Yeah. You went to a private school, didn't you? Nope. <laughs> in my head. Didn't you go to not a, at all. a totally, totally private school? Right? Not at all. Seven grand the term. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just a really old fucking fussy It's CFA. not old clothes now, by the way. I think a couple of years after we left, it got changed to black, black uniform. But when we. A yeah. sixth form? Yeah, because when they linked with Brought and All. Yeah. They got a mixed uniform of like black and white, yeah. That's mad. Black or white? Black and white. Oh, black. Like a black white. jumper, like a white polo shirt or right, something. Right, right, right. Yeah, but we, we could wear whatever we wanted. Oh, I liked our uniform. Because I used to go to St. Eddie's to do English and they all wore a uniform when I was the cool kid in my own clothes. Like, <laughs> muppy. What oh, colour, yeah, because you moved over. What yeah. colours were yours? What was yours look? Uh, suspiciously, the German flag. Red, yellow, black. In what? So was ours. On the tie. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. That's our colours. Red, yeah. yellow, black, and a bit of white. My nephew Charlie's there now, and it's really weird to see to see his uniform. It's not changed at all. It's exactly the same. And you're like, Did you get to name that kid? You are? <laughs> yeah, I did, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love Charlie. That was a big night out on the sesh. <laughs> My sister went, We need to name the baby. She'd had an epidural. She was off her tits as well. Do you remember when you were in like school, like school school? And one day you were leaving, like at like lunchtime to go to like a uh, bar mitzvah or something. Yeah. And you got to wear your own clothes in like year seven because you were, you didn't have time to change. So you'd have like a note from your mum going, I'm not wearing my uniform today. I'm wearing my own clothes. Oh, I've never done that. Because I'm getting off to go to 
my nan's bar mitzvah. Oh, I've never done that. Right. I know it wasn't your nan's bar, bar mitzvah. It wasn't. Did she late convert? Bat mitzvah. Um, yeah, and also she's 79. <laughs> what, um, when my school would never be like, yeah, yeah, wear what you want. And then, because obviously you're going somewhere at lunch. Never. Less like so if heavy. you... If you needed to change out of clothes for whatever reason, you were in your uniform until you left the prep. My school was strict like that. You couldn't take, you wouldn't, there was no kid that was not wearing uniform. Like they I, were strict I, on I that. I never did that, like. I didn't Got, do that, but you were allowed, if you're in the footy team, you're allowed to wear uh, like, your training kit I did all that, day. mate. Nasty. What? Yeah. Like until, until, if you had a match. Oh, we had that, didn't we? If yeah. you had a match, you could wear your kit, like your, your tracky before. I used to love it. Um, in little school, when I, I didn't play for the older school football team, it was full of fucking gimps we hated. But when I played in junior school, like the last lesson, half an hour before, the footy lads you need to go for the game, you'd be like, yeah. <laughs> walking out like fucking messy with all these gimps are doing mats. <laughs> oh, that was the best <laughs> feeling ever. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, I remember Lee Gonzalez. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? R Lee Gonzalez played for England schoolboys. Did he make it? I, I very much doubt it. But we all thought he was basically fucking Pele. What a name. Lee, Lee Gonzalez. And he'd be like, where's Lee Gonzalez going? He's like, yeah, he's going to play for England schoolboys, which is like the coolest thing, the coolest thing ever. Like Football. he's not here. Yeah. Uh, this is primary school. Yeah. Lee Gonzalez. Was there any other sports that were like sort of like done in your school? Uh, our, like, sec well, our secondary school, like or anything? we weren't allowed to play footy. You, so you didn't sad. play footy for the school. Apart from the six, you could be a, f a, f a fifth year and six formers. There was a football team. So James Clegg was, uh, James Clegg, oh, was he a left back or a right back? He was a fucking great footballer. And he was in that team, but you had to be a fifth year. It was cricket, uh, rugby. It's just all the middle class bullshit. We had a good rugby team. Yeah. And then if you had represented the school, you got full colors, you got a special tie. So if you got to sixth form and you would represent the first team, you got, so you had a special, Bondi, my mate Bondi, played prop for the rugby team, big fat bastard. And um, he got full colors. And even though I was never sporty and I wasn't even into that, like I was never, like, you know, some kids love it and they love our oh, represent. I was never asked, but it was kind of cool that you got a special fucking tie. Uh, and then there was half colors and it was just a very old fashioned school. Yeah, that was similar to that. We didn't get anything special for playing for the team. Nothing like that. You just yeah. Our school was a specialist sports college, so it like the it, it was like yeah privilege to be in one of the teams. Oh, and the footy team's kit was AC Milan style, black and red strips. Nice. And the rugby one was horizontal. Yeah. Oh my. I had like a gold. Uh, gold I'll find program. a picture of our kit that I had to wear. It was a full on David Seaman '90s mad psychedelic. Thing, and I was just a fat bastard in it. I looked at the ridiculous. time. I bet you had... <laughs> was psychedelic. Yeah. At the oh time, I bet God. you hated that kit, but now it'd be like a nostalgic belter. Oh yeah. Also, if I wasn't a fat fuck, it would have been better. Oh, but food and stuff. I was. What? I'm, not, I'm, that's not wrong with being overweight. <coughs> He's upset. <laughs> He's upset. <laughs> Mate, I talked about this on one of the very first episodes of this podcast, but the obviously we only had girls in the sixth form. And there must have been sort of 200 girls in the six. It's quite a big six form, maybe a bit less, but wow. uh, there was 500, 600 kids in the school. So there would have been a couple of hundred in the sixth form. So yeah, say a hundred girls. Oh my God, when they practice netball. I, in the quad behind, it was a multi-purpose, you know, for lessons, you could do all sorts on it, tennis or whatever. But there'd be lunch practices where the girls six form netball team would practice we weren't allowed to play on the quad. So we had to like the courts and there was like cages. It was honestly like a fucking Boca Juniors river plate match. You it had was... a quad bike. What? <laughs> you weren't allowed to they, play on the quad. So the, in your head, the whole netball team are practicing on a quad bike. <laughs> no. The most middle class. That'd you be said so they, good. You said uh, they no, were on the course and you, were, you no, weren't allowed a, to play on your quad. quad? No, the quad. Oh, we had, like, a, we had like a quad as four, well. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's just a square. It's just a, it's just yeah, a square. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, that's what it got called. You weren't just like, Dan, put the quad bike away. The girls are playing <laughs> netball now. Quad bike netball would be great, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's how fucking middle class this school was. It's like motorized polo. Oh, it was so fun. So pervy. So unapologetically pervy. About six, 600 lads just all at the fucking cage. 
Oh, it was brilliant. What were you shouting? Good shot. Women's oh, yeah, yeah, rights. Yeah. yeah, no. Yeah, good shot. Women's rights. <laughs> I support shot. your women's right rights. Good shot. Women's good for right. you, girls. You'll own loads of mugs one day, you girls. <laughs> it you got to get us pregnant, Dan. Unbelievable. No. And then, obviously, if you were eggy and someone went there being a little cunt, you got bollocks. So you would have to be like, good shot. You try and run after you and you'd be like, fucking catch me, cunts. <laughs> oh, that was well played. So you'd fake being into the fucking netball. Oh, shit. When everyone's just looking at everyone's ass. It's brilliant. Everyone's oh, so looking at cool. everyone's oh, ass. So cool. <laughs> oh, my God. So many hats. They were women. They were women. They were, it's mad because they were all. When you're 14, kids. when you're 13 year old lad, there was one called Louise or something. Oh my God, she's the fucking most attractive woman I've ever seen. I kid. remember being in year five she's and 16. seeing her again in year six and thinking she she's probably paid their mortgage. Got a mortgage her. off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a woman now. <laughs> yeah. Because they, like, they've had a little drugs. They're tall and you're like, fucking. There's a girl who's. You'd know her as well. Like, probably. I could say her name right now, but she probably fucking listens or she certainly knows someone who does because every time we mention someone from our school, I get a yeah, message yeah. from them a few days later going, from prison. you stop telling people I got beat by the dance drum kid in the short tennis tournament, please. Take that out your episode. <laughs> that did happen. <laughs> He's not in prison though. HMP Egbeth. It's super Don't prison. talk about me, lad. Do you remember that? When we told that story about the lab we went to school with because we had the short tennis tournament at the end this of the year. This is old year. school flashbacks. And uh, we've been, yeah, yeah, like it was a big deal, the short <laughs> tennis tournament, and but like it got bigger and bigger crowds as the rounds went on. But the first round game between this person who we, we will not name and the lad who was Down syndrome was it was like a Boca Juniors game. It was one of the oh, best things I've ever I'll seen in me. I'll never lose that title. Unique yeah. analogy. <laughs> <laughs> it was so like he was ace of them. It was fiddle. And he won, and it was honestly one of the best moments. It should, it sh there should be a film made about that. It's one of the best moments of my life. <laughs> <laughs> you want a thirty for thirty about that? Oh, man. <laughs> when he, he aced them, he kept acing. Them. <laughs> I ah, oh. wow. Yeah. I, honestly, it tears me off. Full attendance. Yeah. The, I think there you could. Yeah. There. In fact, I had. There was, there was ticket there. touts trying to trying to get you closer. I think there was genuinely about. 300 people. I think Fosh was on the roof as the head teacher. <laughs> With his top he had, he had Looked to like go, Jason oh! Kelsey at the Super Bowl. <laughs> you know, the kid who's got the fucking... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He was doing that and getting everyone going. <clears throat> yeah, doing the score. Like, a short tennis court would fit in this room between oh, here, yeah. here and that wall. That's how small they are. And there was about 400 people stood around it. In my head, this looks like a miniature new Camp. Yeah. It was absurd. And you just selling confectionery around the... I'll never forget. One of my busiest days. What a what a legacy to leave. I sold out every day. Sold that every day? I sold out of every sweet I brought in. Every, everything I ever brought in, I would sell out every single day. Ah, that's how you kept demand up for the next day. I would buy two packets of dairy milks that had seven in each. So I had 14 of them to get rid of. They'd go. I'd bring in... What price you buy and what price you sell? I think they were like two quid for seven and I'd sell them for 50p each. So I'd... No, it must have been, I must have got them cheaper than that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, then, big markup. Uh, I'd get 12 discos for a quid, like a multi-pack, and they'd be 50p, so you'd make six oh, quid. Oh, that was a lot of money in discos. And then Lucas Aids was three quid for eight, uh, and I'd bring 16 of them in. How much was cocaine? Yeah, we didn't do that. Then. Oh, you didn't do coke. Good boys. Although you could have sold a lot of coke, and it wouldn't have got any more fed at that fucking... Yeah. Oh. I'll never forget. Two bags of discos, a dairy milk, and uh, I'll have three head, bags of coke. In my head, I've got a confabulated memory of him being like caddy. I can see flares. Yeah. He six owed him as well. It was six nil. Was it in Istanbul? Was it a... Yeah. Was it Galatasaray? No, it was it? near the gym. There's a, I don't know if it's still there, like the gym. Uh, By gym the area. swimming pool? Yeah. Yeah. What was the question? Uh, it's about the lads all going and getting pissed in an Indian at the rugby social. Yeah, your mum's cool. a... Fucking not, not Give you my laxatives. One more <laughs> from anonymous lady. <clears throat> um, hi, lids. Confession for you. I hurt a muscle in my back a, uh, a while back at the gym. Uh, this meant that we, when me and my fellow were having sex, I had a bit of a pillow. I was a bit of a pillow prince. What are you doing, Dan? Read the fucking words. I was a bit of a pillow princess, as it would hurt me if I put effort in. It's now been over a month and my back feels fine, but I'm continuing to feign injury so I don't have to put any effort in when we shag. Do I deserve penance from a lazy, loving lady? So Pillow Princess is a lady who doesn't get on top. Where's my wedding ring? Oh. Oh, shit. I'm divorced. 
Yeah. Um, a lady doesn't get on top. A passenger princess is a lady who will never drive. Yeah. I don't mind a passenger princess. I I'm quite happy to do the driving. Hundred percent, always. My car's better than yours. Sarah, you're not allowed to drive your car. <laughs> no. She's not that she's not a good driver. Nobody's allowed to drive my car. Aye, right, cool, yeah. But I don't like Laura and, and she's not driving my car. And she's a wonderful driver. She's a BMW driver. That's all I need to say. Ah, uh, she's German. <laughs> <laughs> Racist? What? That's just angry. <laughs> um, This is, this. I, I couldn't have this. A pillow you, princess. You want it on top? No, I want, like, every now and then to just lie there and be fucked. <laughs> I think that's fair enough. Sometimes, like, I, I'm i a generous lover. Yeah, I really am. I've known that for years. <laughs> <laughs> I will put a shift in. You will come first 90% of the time. Are you listening, single Muslim ladies? <laughs> <laughs> Are you listening? <laughs> Who gives a fuck if it's haram? <laughs> haram, bro. <laughs> I am. I'm good at it. I know what I'm doing. Oh, you will come. If you're capable of squirting, you'll squirt. I will get you where you want to go. If you don't squirt, it's your fault. <laughs> you fucking so dry old Every boot. now and then, every now and then, I just want to lie there and have you ride me like I'm a fucking bull at a nightclub. You know, the, the Bronco one. <laughs> Quite convoluted that one, you know the blow call. I thought you were gonna say bull in a china or just, shop. Or just ride me like a bull in a china <laughs> shop. I want fucking things falling off. I want crockery breaking, like a big just Greek. Bitch. Every now and then, put a shift in. Yeah. Like it, what? What's great is when you both like give us, and you have like that fucking competitive now. Oh, I'm fucking, you fucking. <laughs> what is it? An arm wrestle or a shag? I love it when you know I pin her down and then she gets me in a headlock. <laughs> Then she pins me down and then she booms no. me and I can't do anything about it. What I'm it. saying is, if you're a generous lover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give, 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 innit? If you're a generous lover, you're, you give. But then they get like competitive with me, like, but I'm a generous lover too, so they want to give back to you. Yeah. And that, that's perfect. Because then you're fucking each other. You're on top, <laughs> she's on top. You swear on down, you roll your cock off the inches. Yeah. Is it the UFC? It feels like it's all over the shot. You're fucking There's wrestling. nothing better. Stop trying to be generous. I'm being generous. Fuck off. <laughs> There's nothing better. Than making a woman finish with your mouth and not letting go and going again. I'm just refusing to let go. The second one is so, like, they're so grateful. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Until they say, hey, get off. And then you stop, don't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You right. should probably leave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Read the wall, Adam. <laughs> Mum's had enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, everyone. <laughs> What's happening, lads? Hello. Time to tell you about our OG and our absolute favourite sponsor, Manscaped.com. Promo code Weird20 gets you free shipping worldwide and 20% off absolutely everything. Uh, look, here's the thing St. Paddy's Day is coming up, okay? Yeah. And what are you looking for? The end of the rainbow, pot of gold. How about. Shave your pubes, sit at the end of the rainbow, wet your cock out, and if any woman comes over and she's looking for gold at the end of the rainbow, you're like, you've found it, love. Now nosh me off, Dan. And that is the message that St. Patrick wanted to get over to everyone, isn't it? <laughs> Shave your balls, you'll get noshed off. Happy Paddy's Day. There's the lawnmower 5.0. Great There's the bit, beard yeah. trimmer now. There's the crop preserver. There's the Quality. ball deodorant, you know? The undies. The list is endless. Well, oh, it's not actually. There's a very finite amount of products that they sell, and you can get 20% off all of them with the promo code WEIRD20. Shave your cock for St. Patrick's Day. That's what the Irish are all about. Shaving pubes. WEIRD20. 20% 20 off and free shipping. Manscaped.com. The best products on the market. They don't even cut your balls or your asshole. Welcome back to part three of four of this week's Ooh. Have a Weird podcast. We're here uh, with second time guest... Daniel McLaughlin. <laughs> Hello, you all right? Oh, yeah. Uh, welcome back, how are you? Yeah, I'm all right, you know. Lots of former housemates of two-thirds of the directors of this company. Oh, really? Who have I not lived with? Carl. Carl. I'd have loved that as well. Yeah, we'd have had a great time. That would have been sick, that. Yeah. We'd have, we like the same shit, don't we, I think? Well, at least at least the same themes, anyway. 
Same what, themes. Yeah. What football UFC? Like shoes and like being cool and that. That's it. <laughs> I like and shoes and being cool. Me yeah, and Carl and once had the best uh, meme conversation. Oh, lad. That anyone's ever when he was a uh, show manager at Hot Water on one of the open mic nights. We used to do it all the time. So Danny would host the open mics, and this was like, <laughs> this was new acts. They were in, you know, bridges. They were dog shit, yeah. Yeah, but so I would sit in a sound booth, and he would sit across the other part of the room, and we could just see each other. And in the middle was a dog shit act. <laughs> And we would just send each other memes <laughs> backwards and forwards. Like the, the memes were hitting them in the face, like <laughs> electronically as they did. Name some names. What shit acts are we talking about? I can't oh. remember. Oh, it like, they haven't even gone anywhere. Like this is their first ever gig. Like they can't even hold the mic. Who yeah. is? Here's a question for both of you. <laughs> Fuck off straight away. Here's a question for both of you. Right. Here's a question. Who did you see like early on? And you both have hosted... 90% between years of the new act nights in the Northwest. Yeah. Between... The Frog and Bucket, and you also host King Gong and Soz about you. But like you, you, <laughs> you have seen a lot of new acts coming through. Who is like the worst act you've seen early on who went on uh, to like make go from comedy? Who was one you were like, nah? And don't say me. Um it might no. You was the worst dressed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Glow up wise, yeah. like some of them shirts from the officers club you used to wear. <laughs> Like, you, like how you were that funny in petroleum? <laughs> I, I, I don't know, but like that was blue ink. Blue ink was his job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love, I love seeing like. I went on stage once in a in a t-shirt that said, "If you're happy and you know it, shows your tits." <laughs> Lad, you, that was your night out t-shirt. <laughs> and then at the end, you took your top off. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, sex, drugs and sausage, sausage rolls. rolls. Yeah, yeah. Drink, you drank, big, uh, I wore that when I won Liverpool Comedian of the Year. <laughs> drink, was, drank, drunk as well. Uh, drink, drank, uh, drunk, yeah. You had big uh, female body <laughs> investigator vibes. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> like, oh, here's Ro, we found him. Best return to the pub. <laughs> 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 oh, it was so bad. When I, I went through my me, uh, me pictures the other day to, to send like a, an old picture to someone. And I was like, oh, I, I, I like, you know, when someone sends you like an old picture of them, like when you're talking to someone and you're like, oh, that's funny. I'll set, like, like, let's see you when you were 18. And I went back and was like, oh, this is funny. This, like, we're embarrassing each other. We're embarrassing ourselves for like the sake of flirt. And then I got all the way back and I was just like, no. Can't find any, you know. <laughs> Nineteen-year-old divorced dad. <laughs> you used to dress like the year six school disco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like on my best shirt and my best pants. I'd argue as to say that you might have had, like, genuinely, not just gassing, <laughs> the best glow up out of anyone I've ever met in comedy. Paul Smith is good. Paul Smith. Oh yeah, there, Smith yeah. as well. You and you and Smith, for the, from where you were at. Yeah, in I'd say 2011. Rose floor was lower than Smith's. <laughs> I I think you are them jackets you used to wear, and I've seen you at your worst as well. Like when we lived together, yeah, that and was you, bad, yeah, because yeah. we put I put weight on when we lived together because we we would cook all the time at like yeah at like three in the roast morning dinners at like four a.m. Oh, you love a midnight fucking roast, <laughs> but the, you know what it's like when you come in. Like you can't. I don't want to eat before work. I don't want to be like digesting a roast on the M6 in Roadworks. So when you get home. Yeah. You're like, I've got to, I'm not going to sleep till four now. <laughs> you'd ring me at like fucking get the 11 o'clock and he'd be like, are you back from your gig? I'd be like, yeah. And he'd be like, right, get to the fucking gate of India and I'll be there in 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, that I don't mind. That makes more sense. No, I'd be like, are you back from your gig? Pre-eat the oven. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you <laughs> can smell lamb at 3 a.m. Yeah, fucking boil the spuds, lad. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. But Smith's floor was bad, you know. I think you, like, yeah, I think he... it's just because you, you're here with me right now. No, I think it's it different better. because you were, I think, your floor looks worse. Like you were essentially a child. Yeah. So you you just look worse anyway. Like Smith yeah. was already an adult. Yeah. But yeah, like Smith would wear <sighs> like a pinstripe black and black gray blazer that didn't fit. That was about three sizes too big. Yeah, yeah. A white shirt, boot cut jeans, and Converse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He did look like he was doing <laughs> improvised comedy on a Sunday afternoon. He looked like yeah. he'd just lost his job as a magician and gone, I'm going to just do some crowd work instead. It was bad. Yeah, I but yeah. I'd, 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 no, I, some I'd, of the I'd, outfits look, that I wore. I'd rather have pictures of him as my past than the pictures of me. Yeah. 
You... I, I remember New Year's Eve once at the Frog. This must have been about 2005 before I met either of you, where I wore, and I remember it very, because I was like, oh, it's New Year's Eve. I'm going to make some effort. I wore a brown pinstripe suit, a, a, <laughs> a white belt with, you know, the studded metal ones, oh, like the emo ones that was yes. white, a red pair of Converse, and I had, uh, I think I had red glasses. <laughs> what chair do we talk about? Uh. Timmy Mallet at a court case. <laughs> it was so bad. And I, <laughs> I checked myself before I went out and went, flying it down. Quality. <laughs> you That's... dress so much better since this podcast. There's a picture of you in like a scarf and you look like 40 years older there. I'll try and find it. Right. It's great. I want to claim some vibes as well. Like, I think like living with me, especially Ro, come down and be like, oh, I like that hoodie. Like when he moved in, I was like, don't like any of your clothes. <laughs> yeah. And then I come down and say, like, oh, I'd, I'd actually wear that. Yeah. And then I'd be like, oh, it's mine, actually. Let <laughs> <laughs> me hold you on for them. Like my undies. Sat in my undies in my undies. Yeah, but half your wardrobe's everywhere. Do you know what I mean? You can't claim that. Like, I've lived oh, with you. Oh, yeah, no. You, there, it was honestly like a, the storage like of a footlocker. There was just trainers everywhere. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like scope. <laughs> that's, my, that's my flat now. Yeah. Do you know what that yeah, used to be so called? True. Yeah. <laughs> I know what it used to be called, and you've warned me about the card, and I won't be, oh, no. I won't be telling you what it used to be called. Mad, though, well, I tell you what, I can't stand the word society. <laughs> um, it really doesn't roll off the tongue. It's offensive, isn't it? <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I found out last week he told me. Blew my fucking There's loads mind. of them when you, like, the etymology of a lot of that stuff. Like, words that you thought were harmless. Actually, are quite egregious. Yeah, I found, I won't say, but there's a there's a, a racist <laughs> one that I found out that is like was thrown around a lot, and it, it's it's got such bad racial connotations. But people is it the M word? It isn't that one. I had bad. no idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 I was used to sing it in me songs. It's one about um, being mixed race, it's, right? Uh, and I found out what the connotations. Are. I was like, oh, that is bad. Send me a meme. But that was used as like, <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was used as like, oh, I'm being racist. I'm just saying. I'm just describing what he's like. But the connotations of that saying are abhorrent. Yeah, but so, like some stuff like that does take a certain amount of education. Because like I use that with absolutely no knowledge of it for my entire sort of childhood and into yeah. early adulthood. And then someone else had to go, you know, that's bang out of order because you're not you're just not taught stuff like that. This is one no. of his best bits. Like I always say it. I don't I don't think you do it enough. You know the the bit about the robots. Oh yeah, like it's yeah. a phenomenal bit of stand-up comedy. I tried to bring it back for the tour, and it's just too fiddly. And it's dead. When you said it, it was dead prescient as well. It's like, oh right, that is like not only is that like really funny, but it's on the nose. Like, what is definitely going to happen? Because it's we're going to get found, pulled up on political correctness. I found myself correctness. doing it. Yeah, like for stuff that when I not even like bad stuff, but like, oh, you can't say that, and you're like, what, what? Yeah, in the, said tra it's a traffic cone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, not anymore. The, in the future, our grandkids will be like, you've got to respect AI. Yeah, you can't yeah. call it a robot. And they'll be like, oh, you use the R word. Yeah, 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 it's brilliant. <laughs> oh my it's God. a fucking toaster. <laughs> yeah. Did it not Save. work? It just, it's too fiddly. It was, it was working all right. And then I ended up just doing a, uh, I've said that when I get to an old people's home, I want to be looked after by a Geordie AI robot. And it was just me doing Cheryl Cole as a care assistant. And it, you know when you're, <laughs> you know when you're having loads of fun on stage <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and you can't for the life of you get out of it. There's no point, it's just me going, beep boop, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah. I'll fucking shoot you, you <laughs> bastard. Beep boop. That's just essentially what she said in that toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Any Formula One fans will love it because Martin Brundle for the last 20 years has been using the word retardation about tires. Right. And apparently that's technically a term, you know, the tires get worn out and everything. Yeah. And I think he's been doing it on purpose for 20 years. He's like, it's all about the retardation of the tires. And it, I, I don't care if that's a technical term. It just feels like he's taking the piss. But it's also French for late. Yeah. So I was doing, Tardy. I was doing Duolingo and it's like, it came up and I was like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> and I know, cause I did. Tardy. Did G, uh, no. A retard. Retard. Yeah, uh -huh. Oh, so it's not offensive if you do it in a slightly French accent. Yeah, exactly. Accent. Oh, What's weird is I'll get cancelled for the accent. <laughs> <laughs> not what I was saying. Not on here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do you know what the Dutch is for spank me, daddy? How do spank you know? Spank me, daddy. It's give me in clap, papa. Oh, yeah. 
Wow. I love the Dutch. <laughs> it's one of the serious languages. There's so many stupid things like that. Give me a clap, Papa. Google that. I love the Dutch. Examples, like, Their hip hip array is hibbity hip hoorah. <laughs> Just taking the piss. <laughs> no, we do it a slightly different than that. Yeah, hibbity, but hibbity beep. In Holland, there's a, probably a podcast now, Have a Worden, <laughs> where they're probably like going, do you know in England, hippity rodden is hip hip hooray. <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> what is Do you know what? One? Give me un clap, puppy. <laughs> I'm sorry, love. I don't. I don't speak your language. <laughs> Do you know what a hassle slag, a haggle slag is? A haggle slag. Oh, a different. Works in a <laughs> yeah. Is that a prostitute who like is up for negotiation? Is that the dirty house in Hogwarts? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't say the fucking real one now. Haggle slag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's bread. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it is. There's also a slag loaf of haggle slag. <laughs> slag room. So you can get haggle slag with slag room on. That's whipped cream. Go and get us an extra thick haggle slag there. Got <laughs> some slag room. Um, what slag room? Cream. Whipped cream. Yeah. Oh, you knew that? No, I heard you say. Oh, it. right, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My God, Danny, you speak Dutch. <laughs> well, hibbity hip hoorah for you. <laughs> Fick me, fick me, <laughs> stick it in me mutt. Ah, <laughs> oh, Tony Law. Love that bit. I like German porn, but I don't get it. I don't speak the language. Fick me, fick me. <laughs> stick it in me mutt. <laughs> what are they saying? Oh, my God. Anyway, that was a, a really weird lull. <laughs> why, are you, why, why are you learning French? Um, I don't know. I think I was on like a... I want a journey of self uh, self-discovery I can do on my couch. Like I want to find myself, but in my front room still. So I just want to better myself with, but still be fat, essentially. So I was like, oh, what can I do? And I was like, oh, it'd be nice to learn a language. You should you use Babbel well better. Yeah, but like- Ryan Babbel, he's a good tutor. He's he's a, he could have taught me Dutch. Um, <laughs> just better now. But I'm not good at it. I've got like a 40. 40 Babbel sponsored us, don't they? <laughs> We've just got have it for them last We've week. just got a babel as a sponsor. I, I I reckon if our sponsors come on board and then get annoyed when we do the odd joke about former Premier League footballers, they're not gonna stick around very long anyway. I wasn't having a go. No, but it's I... just because Duolingo got mentioned. Yeah. <laughs> that shite. Mm. I always anyway, call Danny. Babel. Sorry, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Danny. How far into the fr- I, can, what can you say? Uh uh not not a lot. You can say uh, late. Uh, yeah, that's it. I just go around calling everyone late. Um, <laughs> Lit. I'm learning French. French. <laughs> I've got a 422 day streak. Oh, shit. Well, I got a B at GCSA. So <laughs> I uh, obey. So I um, I got a basic knowledge anyway. Yeah. That's why I did it. So you haven't had them shouting at you on the phone because you keep doing your streak. Doesn't you get, get mad? The little, the little owl. owl. Does yeah. he shout at you? The, yeah, owl, the owl threatened you. What? He comes on your skin and goes, lad, where have you been? I'll fucking punch your head in. No, it's it's Scouts worse than that. Because yeah. it's like... That it's should like be a, one of the options. Yeah. It's Lane really Scouts. emotional. What? So the owl's like, oh... I'm sad, where have you, you If you don't want your kid to be disappointed in you, you should probably log on now, do some French. Does he use that? Like, he proper, like, yeah, he's, he's on it. Yeah, he's, he, he's push notifications. He'll go, where have you gone? I'll, you know, I'll hurt myself unless you come back. No, if you still want to be in your dad's will, you better... Uh, <laughs> Are you sure this is the owl and not your sleep paralysis demon? (laughs) (laughs) I don't sleep. (laughs) (laughs) Did you you do French? Did you do French? Oui. Did you do any French exchange or French trips? No, I was too working class for that. Like, genuinely, I think when when you're as working class as me, my dad probably wouldn't have let me go because of a natural distrust for foreigners. (laughs) So he's like, oh, you're not going over there. You'll come back eating pan. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it, but I also like it was like sixty quid, so we wouldn't. I wouldn't have paid. I didn't do any trips. I didn't do any trips. I didn't so. go on a plane until I was twenty. He really? was. You were like twenty-five, maybe even a little bit older. Mm-hmm. Yeah, twenty seventeen. No, twenty eighteen. That's, That's well older. Oh, <laughs> so you were twenty-seven. Twenty eighteen. It was for me birthday as well. When we went to Berlin. Twenty six. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I wow. went to New York with my, on my first. And I literally thought I was gonna die every time like there was any turbulence. Cause you just don't know, do you? But it's you know like... about the turbulence, don't you? That makes you feel better. The grape and the jelly thing. What? Have you seen it? No. So imagine the plane is a grape inside some jelly. 
that is what turbulence is. It's pressure on the plane. You can't just fall out the sky. You're just in a pocket of pressure. Yeah. Oh, so it's, it's you in the plane. When it's, it's rattling no, no, the, around, it's the though. plane in the jelly. Right. The plane can't fall out. It's just in a pocket of so pressure. So what am I in this? A pip? You're the pip inside the grape, yeah. It's okay. such a stupid and non-relaxing analogy. Oh, no, that helped me. That no, helped it me doesn't help me at all. Imagine no. you're a baby in a washing machine, you know? You're going <laughs> to die in a washing machine. Like, what are you talking about? Different then. <laughs> in, na- in nasty muff. turbulence, though. Just talking yeah, about yeah, but jelly I'm saying and grape. That, th- that thought, we're like, you can't just drop out the sky. You're just in a... Pre- pre- I don't... I get scared at takeoff now. I was such a bad flyer for like five years. But like, I, get, I don't like takeoff. Because every time I hear about a plane crash, it's always crashed soon after, yeah. like, launch. That's the one. So, I, like, once we're in the air, I'm fine. And turbulence feels to me like you're just on a bus going down fucking Queen's Drive. Like, it just feels like Since rocky. I've been driving more and you're on the... Mo- you know when you go over to 62? Yeah. And it, you get a wobble on the... And you're yeah. like, oh, that, in my head, that's turbulence. And if yeah. I can trust myself yeah. driving an Astra on the 62, <laughs> I can trust a pilot who's been in... But then in my head, I'm like... Yeah, but like, what if he was out last night? He's still going to come to work. Like, that's what I think about as well. Like, Depends pilots out. who get on it. Well, do you remember that pilot who just crashed into the sea? Why? SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> <laughs> what, Tom Hanks? <laughs> no, about two years ago, this guy, uh, he was suicidal and he took a plane down with him. Yeah. yeah. Was there anyone in the plane? You can't yeah, worry about full. that, though. Because if you start worrying about other people's mental health and them killing, yeah. You'd be suspicious of people walking down the street. I was nervous coming here. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, do you not think about that? Do you not think at all times you're trusting everyone you're near to not just blow your head off? I think how easy yeah. is I could just run everyone over. I think that's honestly how Laura thinks most of the day. She walks out of the house and she's like, where can the murderers be? And her answer is, everywhere. <laughs> yeah. But I, I 100% agree with her. But the fact that there's nothing you can do about it relaxes me. Because I'm like, what can I do? I only get stressed about stuff that I can affect. If someone's going to blow my head off with a shotgun, then I can't like live my life being all vigilant about it. Being like, wah. Like, you just can't do that. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Get off your nubbed head. Yeah. Um, just add him commando rolling round L1. You've just got to hope that someone doesn't do it. But also it's easier to do in this country. Like I imagine if I lived in America where people have got guns, mm. like allowed them, then it's, or it's easier to get. They're dying for someone to try and shoot, shoot yeah. up there. Cause they're all like, this exactly. is what we fucking drink Whereas for. in this country, if you see someone looking dodgy, walking down the street with a shovel, yeah. you're like, I'll just cross over in it. Like I'll be able to outrun him or something. Like it's let you're less likely it's going to happen here. You might, there might be a psycho in a car. Yeah. But imagine you see a, a fellow coming down the street with a shovel, right? And you cross over and then someone jumps out of that bush and shoots you with a shotgun. And Where's then that fellow just comes to his garden. Yeah, but that's what I mean. It's hard to get a shotgun. If someone comes out with some gardening shears and gets you, then maybe, but... I've got a fella called Scottish John who'll sort you out if you want a shotgun. Well, he won't sort you out now. You've just put him on on blast on a massive podcast. (laughs) Give him a a fake name. Oh, yes. Yeah. Irish Dave. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Scottish. It must be mad in America, though. If you're like, oh, shit, he looks like he's in a bad mood. You know, he might have a concealed gun. Yeah. You don't know. And that makes you want to get a gun, doesn't it? That's the thing. Yeah. That's why I've got loads of shovels. (laughs) <laughs> you can't be careful in it. But yeah, you can't escape fate, you know? Whatever's coming for you is coming for you. So if there's a fellow walking down the street with a shovel, just what? front him. Well, you think it's fate that you're going to get murdered by someone with a shovel or with a gun? Who are you? Utred of Bebenberg? Like, what? <laughs> you're not a Norse fucking gun. Fall back in. Like, like, <laughs> like, why are you like, oh, just what what, whatever it is, whatever happens, happens. Whatever Thor says. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. You, like, if Fate. you're going to get shoveled to death, you're going to get shoveled to death. Joe. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can put in some, some you know, actions where you're going to avoid it. Like yeah, avoid never it. a garden centre. Yeah. Never go to the garden centre. No center. allotments. Yeah. <laughs> if I was going to get shot, I was going to get shot. A lot of people would say, don't go to the shooting range and yeah. have a wander around. <laughs> but I said, it's just fate, innit? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was fucking clay pigeon shooting and I got shot. It's fate. You know? No, I'm not saying you put yourself actively in danger, but you can't be worried about it, is what I'm saying. I am. I can. I will. That's why my I life I think parents is... will naturally have that built in, Monty. Well, <laughs> apparently, once women have children, they start to get scared of roller coasters. <laughs> this is true. Show me the graph. <laughs> <laughs> what does it do, that? <laughs> it's yeah, true. Why is, why is there a loop-de-loop on that graph? <laughs> it is, it, mate, it is true. 
It is true. Yeah, because they feel their own mortality because they've got something to protect. They don't want to die because they don't want to leave their kids to fucking scavenge. Their life is yeah, scavenge. <laughs> like, I'd do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, Laura dies on Rita, Queen of Speech. She's like, they're, they're fucked. <laughs> they'll be on chicken nuggets for two months and then they'll be feral. <laughs> So was Laura not been like Indiana Jones? She loves, she told me, she loves, used to love the idea of uh, uh, roller coasters. The and idea now of them not getting on shoes. <laughs> Just conceptually, they're mad, uh, aren't they? <laughs> but, then, but now she, yeah, she's got the fear of it. So she doesn't go on them no more? But yeah, she, I think she would, but the, 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 I honestly very rarely want to completely agree with Adam on a point, but yeah. But that, right. isn't that like... Isn't there scarier things that she probably does in everyday life that if she's avoiding roller coasters, she should probably be avoiding? He's rushing through life every morning. Yeah, yeah. what's she doing? <laughs> driving, to the driving to the theme park. You no, but that's like it. When, you, when you've got something that you worry about. <laughs> why, did you, why did you just do Ringo Starr for Laura? <laughs> that, that is like a dar <laughs> thing, isn't it? Yeah, like, I'm okay in the bloody car then. <laughs> <laughs> May as well not get up. Yeah. <laughs> People you die. You can't that live that your life in fear. You can, be, you can be aware of it. You should be aware. People are out there. <laughs> no, not that. That's fear. Yeah. Just be aware. Someone's got a big knife in the running at you. <laughs> no, it is. Get off the roller coaster. <laughs> yeah. Never go on a roller coaster with a knife. Is that what we're saying? You can't stop people blowing your head off. Fact. If you, you if someone wants you to can. kill you, you can. You if can someone stay in your wants house. you dead, you will die <laughs> the if they want it enough. Right. Wow. If I wanted to murder you, there's <laughs> fuck all you can do. I hundred percent. Yeah. How would you do it? What with Go your fingers? On <laughs> he fingered me to death. And <laughs> <laughs> there's not he could nothing do you could do. Oh, Adam! Uh, what happened? Oh, Adam didn't cut his nails for ages. <laughs> <laughs> How would you kill Dan, genuinely? I'd get a gun and blow his head off. No, you wouldn't. Are you trying would to get away do? with it? No. Oh. Would you do it on a Patreon exclusive? If you want. Yeah, the views, no, mate. Come Think on, of the that's views. That's what I'm saying. Like, don't do if, that on if the I public. If I want it enough, if I want him dead, and I don't care about getting away with it. There's nothing he can do. Okay, imagine you want to get away with it. How would you kill Dan? I don't want to get away with it. That's not the point I'm making. Don't put, change my point. I'd put rice in your in your cold plunge. Yeah. Oh, like, nice. Yeah. Thanks. Adam doesn't want to do something and not get like adulation for it. <laughs> he's not going to do something secret, is he? Like, he is he's the gonna, best he's gonna podcast be clipped. host merger. <laughs> there's going to be a preview. <laughs> Eyes emojis coming soon. <laughs> Comedian destroys other comedians' frontal <laughs> cortex. You've seen roast battles. Have you seen murders? How would you kill Adam and get away with it? How would you use what he does? Um, how would I kill him? Just out, out of nowhere. I can't get it. I don't know Scottish John. I live in Chester. Yeah. Danny's the roughest person I know in Chester, and he's not got access to guns. You're no. trying to get away with it? Exploding golf ball. Ooh. <laughs> I, no, not bad. Yeah, I'd, when I play that again in September, and it's going to be worth the wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wait for him to get into that again. <laughs> yeah, it's not about getting away with it, though, isn't it? It's about the fact that no, you my, have to just accept was. that if someone wants to do it, but you, you have to basically make that choice of going, you just have to drive thinking someone's not going to go, I'm fucking sick of it, Janine's left me, and then just turn the car into traffic. You have to just get on with your life. That's what we were saying the other week. We were saying there is an element of ignorance is bliss. Like if you're just a bit thick, not full blown stupid. Nah. Life is easy because you go, yeah, that's bad in it, but I'm just getting well, on with you, it. You've all lived with me when I thought I had various different things wrong with me. And if I was like genuinely less of an intelligent person, I'd have, it's weird because you need to be more intelligent to know that like statistically that's not going to happen to you. But you also need to be or less intelligent to think, oh, th this doesn't even enter my head. Yeah. Yeah. So you're just in like that zone where you're both. The health anxiety. Do you remember watching that Super Bowl and you no. had a great time? We had a brilliant. Yeah, it was, it was, you, I remember you it. You watched the whole Super Bowl and then right at the end for the. They fucking <laughs> wheeled this Bowl, guy out. This wheel guy has got massive brain injury. And Danny, we'd had a lovely night. We'd had food. We'd had drink. Like, it'd been a really <laughs> nice night. And right at the end of the Super Bowl, guy rolls out in a wheelchair. It's something to do with CTE. No, There's we a, had fucking uh, ice bucket challenge. Danny literally goes, right, that's my head gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's what I'm like. It's the same thing. I. Like, with my ex-girlfriend, she was like, I really want to get into Grey's Anatomy. I got, like, a That's series up. in and was like, I can't. Every single episode is a man my age who comes <laughs> in with a cough and he finds out he's got AIDS and cancer. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Such a good show, though. Nah. I've, I've just got a bit of a tickly cough, have you? Let's just lie you down here. I oh, only my watch God. Breaking he's got 12 after... hours to live. <laughs> I only watched Breaking Bad after someone went, oh, yeah, but he gets better. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'll watch it then. What, as in the actor? No, as in the... 
Walter, Walter White. White. He doesn't. Have you heard a spoiler alert? Have you seen the last episode? Yeah, but then... Uh, he doesn't too... die of cancer. He gets his head blown off because you can't stop it. No, he can't. <laughs> his cancer's back. That's what yeah, he does. Yeah, but he does. <clears throat> then, like season whatever, he does get... He gets yeah, better, oh, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, in the middle. So then I started yeah. watching it. What I should have done was waited till the end. Yeah. Because, yeah, like you say, he someone gets shoveled it. his head off. His cancer's back. That's why he... Goes and does what he Spoiler does. alert, not spoiler. I mean, bad. If, oh, if you've not seen that, yeah, come on. What's the statute of limitations? I think it's on a that? week. No, what no. for a movie? No. Statute of limitations wow. on when you need to watch something and someone's not allowed to spoil it for you. I You're hate saying it's a week. I just don't think. I think we live in a spoiler society now. I think if, like, all right, what I'm trying to say is, I think it's a week. In in the flesh. Right. I think it's like, don't go on the internet. You have to throw your phone in a skip. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah, I, I get it. You can't, like, I, if I don't catch a Liverpool game, I'm recording it and I'll watch it when I get in. Yeah, yeah. Like, I will avoid everything. I'll, I'll put my phone in airplane mode. I won't go on the internet. Can you do it? Can you manage it? I've done it once. And it was when Liverpool played uh, City in the Champions League and beat them 3-0. Spoilers. Uh, so <laughs> the goals from oh. Salah, Mane and Oxley chamberlain the first leg of the Champions League quarter-final in 2017, 18? 18, yeah. Like, I went to the watch Dead and Brown with an ex-girlfriend. No, like, and when we group. drove home, I put me jumper around my eyes because we were yeah. driving, like, through tube roof. <laughs> and I didn't want to see the fans and see whether they were smiling or not. Why crying. didn't Darren Brown tell you before the game? <laughs> Do you know we had Jason Sudeikis in that show? Mad. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you watch... deserve a screech. Like... Uh, well, you can't just come to the pub and just spoil something. No. After a week, I can. <laughs> no, you can't. So what? Five years. <clears throat> a film? Yeah. For, I think it's five years. If five years have seen it in the pub and one hasn't, fucking shut your ears and walk nah, away. Oh, yeah, yeah, it. totally. But I want to talk about it. It's me and you. I'll be a All right, what about, what about on a podcast like this where we've just ruined <laughs> right, Breaking well, Buffers? Uh, Bruce Willis is dead all the way through Sixth Sense. Uh, the limpy one in Usual Suspects is Kaiser Soze. Oh. Batman's dad dies. Oh shit! Oh, is it? That's a start. Yeah, that's a spoiler. Yeah, that's a spoiler. If you haven't seen any, that's why he's got some issues. It's going to fall. And, if, I, and if I think of any more spoilers, Shot an Island. It's in the I've bat, never seen yeah. it. Don't ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> you would fucking love Shot Island. Tell me about. I spoil it for me. I can't. <laughs> it's otherwise the film's essentially pointless. It's actually better the second time you watch it. Yeah, because so you, you spoil the, it for him. It might be better if you just only have yeah, to watch it once. Just let me. No, I can't. I genuinely do think right now, when when you know a film's got... So say if you went to watch an M. Night Shyamalan film... Nailed it. You're just... I know him. Uh, we... I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you're just waiting for that instead of enjoying the film. It takes you out of the film. Yeah. Uh, that's, uh, this is another problem with being intelligent, though, is looking for the ends of stuff when it starts. I'm the, as soon as I start watching a series or a film or anything... <laughs> It ruins everything for me. What it's I love about that, Adam, is I genuinely thought that you were calling me intelligent then, and then you were like, because the trouble is when I watch a film. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, no, but I consider myself intelligent, and you are, and it's the same thing, and he, do this, and he does the same thing, and I know it. Like, you, you watch it, and then in the first 10 minutes, you go, right, he's sound, that bird is who he's after. Oh, and then a fella comes in, and he's a cunt, and you're like, right, well, he's getting fucked off, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's either a cunt or a gimp, and he's getting fucked off, and that. Or the anyone who is remotely unlikable gets fucked in the film, and the lead character gets what he wants. Yeah, but isn't that part of good writing where you think you can work it out, and then there's twists and you don't know what's going on? I've never That's... failed. I didn't see James Bond dying. <laughs> Come on, never did failed. James Bond die? In the last, in the last For one. sake, man! Yeah. How many years ago was that? It was last week. It was about three years ago. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah it's the first. I'm Bond. not a Bond guy though. Not a Bond guy. Who's your, who asked this, who, who is your Bond though? Uh, it's probably, weirdly, because of my age, it's probably Dalton. Although it should probably be Brosnan. Mine's Brosnan. Yeah, but I'm like 10 years older than you. Yeah. Like, it, Dalton is the first Bond I remember there being a Bond. No, you see, I, I'm only a year or two older than you, but I remember Roger Moore being on loads on a Saturday afternoon yeah. on ITV. Yeah, we had and they were facts cringy. on. I was CFAX. Yeah, yeah, that was all it was on Saturday afternoons in our house. Right, Teletext. My dad that. just loved cheap holidays. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for the like page three or four to see the Everton score. What was the scored. quiz? What was the quiz on CFAX? I don't know. Was it Transfer called? Rumor section on, on the uh, BBC. So oh. Um, oh. oh. Mate, I once, there, there used to be uh, a video game 
like tips line. And I was really stuck on super punch out on the snares. I couldn't be, have you played it? Do you know which one I mean? No. So there's like quite high up, it's like near the, the top champion. There's like this Chinese dude who's like this wizard and he's got like a stick. And like, if you, you have to do and he just twats you with the stick and it knocks you out straight away. It finishes you off like it's one hit kill. And I spent like eight quid at the phone box. Like I had eight <laughs> quids worth of 10 pences, just feed in the phone box like that. And I finally got through and I was like, oh, I'm really stuck on this. And he went, hold on a minute. And he went, yeah, just stay away from his stick. And I was like, is that it? Like, fuck, <laughs> what, what are you on about? And it was like, it's fucking done my head into this day. And if I ever see that guy, it's on site. What are a you, job. I used to get the game magazines and read the cheats. Yeah, 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 yeah. The what magazine? The game magazine. I genuinely misheard it. <laughs> I genuinely I thought you were going to be like about all, and, these, all these game yeah. fellas doing infidelity yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't get past, I can't get past the, big, the big Chinese guy <laughs> watch out for his dick stay away from him I'll get the demos in the game magazines go and, and jump on that polar bear's yeah. head and get yourself 10 lives lad. crash bandicoot outside yeah. the 30 that jumps on his head oh yeah. that was spoilers <laughs> Unbelievable. that was such a good one left right up down R1 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 L1 R2 L2 Left arm, right up, left arm, right up. Guns. Weapons sheet on GTA. GTA. Oh, spawn tank. What's uh, spawn tank? Fuck, no, you're not getting that one. <laughs> uh, there's a, uh, a UFC fighter who's got the, um, I think he's got like infinite ammo or something on his arm. Che uh, cheat, like tattooed. Oh. Um, yeah, I used to love it. I used to write them on a piece of paper and have them next to my bed. Yeah. When I was playing, I'd be like, right, I want a fucking, want a mosey bash. I, I feel like people are running out of tattoo ideas. <laughs> <laughs> like genuinely, if that if just don't have one, no one needs a tattoo that much that they go, oh, what am I going to have? Infamous ammo. I think it's because he can always punch. I took Rudy swimming at the North Gate. Do you go to the North Gate in Chester? Yeah, I've never been, but it's obviously it's the worst display of tattoos. Like the public swimming pool, the local authority swimming pool, is the place where you want to go and see the worst tattoos. Like proper, like like cliche ones, like. Only dogs can judge me and like just spelt wrong and that. No regular. There's no I in team. Yeah, there's no R in can't as well, mate. Like it's fucking, it's mad. And I went and it's just the worst, the worst tattoos you'll ever see. It's grim. On a display? No, on it, on the bodies in the swimming, in the swimming pool. pool. Oh, I thought like in the North Gate, there was just like a fucking wall dedicated to shit no, tattoos. That'd, pay, that, that'd, be the, that'd be better than it's some fucking of the like, unbelievable, art galleries yeah. I've been to. <laughs> Finn would be in a, yeah. Finn's got the attack of shy. On the back of his, uh, on his back, and it, it just didn't go well. It's, uh, it's a Turkish eye. Yeah, Why is it a different like alphabet? No, I was in like the lucky. Yeah, I know. I was just, I was doing a joke. Very deep on the comedy podcast. Who was in recently? Who's got like a? Who was in recently? Who's got like a tattoo on their foot? Freddie. What Freddy. was it? It was some sort of Latin proverb. Yeah, a man isn't the sum of his. <laughs> yeah, it was a load of shite. I haven't got any tattoos. Have you, have you got any tattoos? Yeah. What have you got? Uh, there's no R in Khan. <laughs> no R in Khan. Um, I've got <laughs> ancient Greek coins on my shins. Two of them. I've got that one there, which is the Kraken. Is that the one I injured? Uh, oh, mate. <laughs> and I've got the the Minotaur's maze there. That's sick. And I've got a book on my calf. And I've shin got... tattoos, Danny. Yeah, man's man's got shin tattoos now. What? I can wait till I'm 45 and I get my nose pierced. Oh, God. <laughs> um, <laughs> How bad was it? It wasn't that bad. It's meant to be pretty bad on bone, though, isn't it? Yeah, but it, it, weirdly... I got one on my juicy, juicy little arse, and it wasn't that bad. Yeah, but I... Shin. It only hurts when it... Like, if, if, for example, you could get someone that would tattoo you with one continuous line, it would hurt once. Like, it only hurts when it goes in. Okay. And then when they do all that, it doesn't hurt, and then they take it out, and then it'll hurt again when they go back. That's what I, That's my experience, anyway. And I've got, like, some... I, I'm the... The basic bitch who's got song lyrics. Go on. So I've got Stop You Messing Around, Better Think of Your Future, which is from a message to you, Rudy, which obviously my kid's called. I mean, that, that's Rudy. That's lovely. You but should what's probably the coin? leave on the left leg. <laughs> 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 what's the coin? I know people go, what does it mean? Does it mean Oh, anything? so because I'm like a little, I like sort of mythology. So when you go, when you die, you have to put two coins on your eyes to get to pay the ferryman yeah. over to Hades. And I genuinely, Carl, just didn't fancy getting my eyelids tattooed. <laughs> so I'm like, I'll just get them on the shins. They'll find them. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine, like, if they're dead, but they'll go through. They'll be That's like, cool. oh, they're there. That's cool. I like that. But 
I'm, I'm that guy that's like, like I said, like I want more tattoos, but I just genuinely don't know what to get. So until that, I won't just be putting yeah. Grand Theft Auto cheats on me. <laughs> You'll get a tattoo eventually, I think. Well, I wanted to get one the last day of Japan, but the wait was too long. That was the only reason I didn't get one. What so would you have got? I was getting a little Tory gate. A little so, what? Uh, <laughs> a Japanese, it's like a Japanese gate. So it's called a Tory gate. With two oh, eyes. it's like just a gate in Southport. <laughs> <laughs> Dad. Uh, it's like a little... Uh, I think there's one, maybe one behind you over there. No, got taken down. Uh, it's just kind of like I just got a little black on my Tory gate on my arm, just because you know going to Japan was a, like a big part of my life. So we're not big enough to wait another half an hour. It was five hours, and it was our last day in Japan. Yeah, yeah. I was like, last day we'll get it. It'll be lovely. It should be about a five hour wait. I was like, I'm not wasting five hours. Why didn't you just day. get that tattoo when you come back? Yeah, I was going to, but then the point it's of it the was the same being, in it. Point Dude. of it was me being there, and the last day I got the tattoo. So like, I don't know. Maybe when I go back, I'll get it, but that's Plus the Plus, it'd be well more expensive, innit? Because you have to pay more. It's like American sweets. <laughs> like, if you get them over here, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the import the costs import. too much. I want my, my, my bum tattoo touched up, and Dean Coglin obviously did it, but then has retired from tattooing. He's still doing so, it, though, won't he? Have you asked him? Yeah, he's like, genuinely, that was the last tattoo he did. That was two years ago. He's like, I haven't even got the stuff anymore. Oh. So I need a tattoo artist to tidy up the uh, R.I.P. Runty piglet tattoo I've got on Why my bottom. Why do you bottom. want your tattoo tidying up on your ass? You never see it. Or are you squatting over mirrors? It's because I'm squatting over mirrors all the time. I need to stop doing that, don't I? No, it's just because I keep getting out of the gym and I'm a little bit self-conscious of me. I've got I've got a bit of a scrappy tattoo because it was do Dean was doing it on stage while I was trying to read out questions and we were all fucking laughing. So he was like, it's not perfect. Well, they, I don't know if you can go in and go, hey, I got a tattoo well, on where stage. Where Dean used to work, the guy that next to him, the, the bed next to him is really good. He's called Jay. Do you reckon huh. that's why and also, Dean you? will be able to go, oh, I did that, 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 so he'll be able to sort it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you getting your ass out of the gym? What? what? That's how you meant to squat, you, isn't it? Because you get... I don't mean... Not in the... <laughs> not in the... Not when I'm doing exercises. In the <laughs> in the changing rooms. That's frowned upon. I've found that, that out. So you, you're you're getting your ass out in the changing room and you're worried that people are looking at your tattoo and going, uh, just fucking got... shoddiness on that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've got an unfinished tattoo, essentially. I've got a scrappy little tattoo. I just want it tidied up a bit. Do you know Although, what I mean? you did you say... No you instinct. Were, you were at Pure Gym. Like, that's probably... People are like, wow, sick tat, that. There's not even a what dress, dress you room at Pure Gym. What prison do you have that done in? Get, I in just, a, get an ass sleeve. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like just one cheek. Literally, oh, all like the a, way down. What would it be called? Like a cycling short? Yeah. It wouldn't be a sleeve, <laughs> would it? Get that. Get a short. Just keep going. Just yeah. add to it. Get, get one short. Get it, like, in the style of jeans. Yeah. Oh. Get it. Get all the pigs you've killed. <laughs> There's so many. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get a spider web around my bum hole. Oh, Every time Dan kills a pig, he has it tattooed on his ass. I do. That's a, that's a like Johnny 27 yeah, from yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> One pig, Dan one tattoo. <laughs> Don't get the fucking web around your bum hole. Oh, web around the bum hole just to ruin everyone's day. Who's? The tattoo artist, oh. mine, anyone in the shop. Just me and the stirrups, like, I've paid for it. They can refuse, though, can't they? They can go, I'm not tattooing your asshole, mate. Like, well, it's not like yeah. a service. Like, they, they get to pick what they want to do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, like, we've all done bad gigs. Yeah. That we didn't really <laughs> want to go. He's like, oh, I don't really want to go to the Admiral Rodney in Nottingham tonight, but I've got <laughs> bills to pay. He's got a lot of followers. This arse tattoo could do a lot of... Really help the shop. Yeah. <laughs> well, even paying you know it's for exposure. I you got any clients in today? I'm just going to say, I'm doing a spiky mic. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I love the tattoos when they do it to be evil. Have you seen the fellow who's got like someone bent over and his belly button's the arsehole? Oh. It's oh. unbelievable. Classic so guy. Good. I mean, no, is, is someone done it to him? They got to pick the tattoo. So they got someone bent over there and the arsehole is his belly button. Some of them are mad. My favourite ones are like if someone's got a scar and they'll do like a like a shark next to it. Killed. Like there's a guy with like it's uh, mixing your cartoons, that. Huh? Sorry, <laughs> what was that? It's mixing your cartoons, that. Huh? Oh, I, I missed that. Scar oh. next to scar. Oh wow. shit! Oh cool. <laughs> Maybe that's the Disney multiverse that we're all waiting for. <laughs> Finding Simba. <laughs> <laughs> what would you give Adam if you had to have a shit tattoo? What do you mean like around you've got, you've around an injury them. or something? Oh, oh no, you, you mean just them off the most? Just the ones where it's forfeit. like. Yeah, I, don't think, yeah. I don't think EFC would actually be the top, would it? Yeah, there was... What's the one where the lads gave a, a Rangers fan the Celtic so, like that. badge? He's like, it, it's it, honestly... It's calf it, even, yeah, and he's like, what? But then what can't you just get the like the fucking the Ghostbusters sign over it? Yeah. 
But like, but that doesn't really count, does it? Because that's not. No, the I mean, if you, but you're trying to salvage it. What if he doesn't like Ghostbusters? Oh, that's even worse, isn't it? Yeah. Like, why have we done that now? Weird Venn diagram. I hate Ghostbusters. I fucking hate Celtic. Celtic and Ghostbusters. <laughs> um, I nearly what's... said, I nearly made an offer there to raise money for the India trip. Oh, that's got to be the whole fundraising. That's well, got I to be was about to say, if someone grand. pays the full five and a half that I've got to raise, then they can put anything on me that's not racist, but it's too much, you know? That's a l- where. How much how for racist? <laughs> <laughs> Six Every man months. has his price <laughs> <laughs> for an extra 50 pence. <laughs> Have you heard Adam Rose got a swastika on his chest? I know, but Zoe's place got a lot of that money, so yeah. to be fair. Do you know he's got a swastika on his chest? And if you pay an extra five grand, you can put another one there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. It's, yeah, That's a lot of power for, for some, somebody who's got that disposable income. Would, like, he shall do it to you. Make me an offer and I'll, I'll consider it. <laughs> Dad, I love it. You can afford it. Fuck that. Why? No, can you can just transfer everything you've earned so far <laughs> yeah. just for that. This can we is, go off and this, not lose a penny? So phenomenal. Like, yeah, I'm going to raise the money. It can't be us doing it. I'm going to do it in one shot. <coughs> Get it on my arse. I don't even look. Can we go off on what, what are you thinking? I don't oh, ask. Not Everton, because that's just boring, isn't it? It's too lazy. Some music. comedy. Is there a comedy like. Oh, Juicy on his bum. I'd like that. <laughs> oh, the juicy tattoo on his ass. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Adam, why have you got your card details on your leg? <laughs> <laughs> don't have to make it easy for these pictures, don't it? <laughs> oh, bruh. The juicy tattoo. He always makes love in his pyjama bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> He's been hurt before. <laughs> Uh, Read the wall, love. <laughs> yeah, you could be just like, oh, that's just how many birds, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's time. Should we have a little break? 20 grand juicy tattoo on his ass. Lids, do us a favor, yeah? You love us, don't you? Yeah. You love this podcast. That's why you're listening to it. And especially if you're watching on YouTube, helps us immeasurably. If you go and leave a comment, like, subscribe, and turn the bell on, it, it sends us through the roof with the algorithm. It costs you absolutely nothing apart from half a second of your life and helps us no end. And you can follow us on socials, can't you, Dan? Dude, uh, yeah, you, uh, have a word pod. I nearly said my handle then. <laughs> uh, have a word pod. Just give us a follow and comment and don't just like something. Retweet it, share it, put it on your stories. Just be sound. Yeah, That's nothing to be nice. Be a good egg. <laughs> part four of four, innit? No, four yeah. to four. That's the last part, isn't it? Let's do some celebrity encounters. Finley Cupboard Love. Why don't we ask Danny first? Ooh. If he's ever had any celebrity encounters. Ooh, smooth, We've got a guest there. in. Nice Fucking smooth, Adam. Not his first Any celebrity podcast. encounters, Danny? Have you ever met encou- any celebs? I have encountered some celebs in yeah. my life. Um, some weird ones. Uh, I, I don't, what are you doing? Are you doing like, are you trying to guess? Or no, 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 we just want to know. Oh, right, well, uh, I know what you've been if we're just putting out there, I saw Michael Flatley's cock. Okay. Um, when I was when I was sixteen. What's jiggling about? Uh, so basically, I, d- I just had a wee next to him, mm. and you know I'm having a look. Like I didn't know it was him at first. Like I just saw a man's. You recognise him by his dick? Yeah, because he had his hands behind his back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. Um... See the Michael Flatley or Liam Gallagher? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just saw it, and, I, and then I was like, all right, whatever, and then. I don't know whether it counts because when I saw it, I didn't know it was his dick. I didn't know it was him. And then he came out and we were like in the bar or whatever. Oh, no, it counts, yeah. And someone went, oh, that's Michael Flatley. I was like, oh, yeah, just seen his dick. Yeah, you haven't targeted the dick site. No, I do do that, though. I will do that. Well, if you see a famous person, you'll follow them to the toilet. If in the urinal, I'll look me. At man's dicks? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, if 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 we're pissing next to each other... And you think I'm looking at your dick? I've already looked at it. Yeah, but you're not going to miss his, are no. you? Uh, what was Michael Flatley's dick like? Just a dick. Yeah? Yeah. It's not, it was just like, it wasn't like, wah. Yeah, it was just You a know, dick. like them ones where you're in the gym changer rooms and like a 90 year old man comes in. Have you got a bit? No, he what? loves them. He loves looking at old men's dick. I hate it so much. So I'm plagued by it. But I it's swear di- they get it out on purpose for me. But it's a different big. Oh, it's awful. It's a different... The skin doesn't skin in the right way. Like a dying elephant. Are they not doing it just in retaliation to you, though? You're like, you think that's a shit tattoo? Look at this face, <laughs> my God. Oh. <laughs> this so dick's bad. literally been in a war. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, oh. he, said it's, he said it's like a, a water balloon on the end and like like sausage skin, like a 
That's yeah, fine. an old man's cock is, it's like it's a water balloon still on the tap. Like there's loads of thin and then the weight of it's all at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it's ready to <laughs> explode. Yeah. It's not it yeah. is. I had a bit about like looking at balance. people's and like I had like a full on chart of like the different ones that you saw. And I was talking about like I saw what someone wants holding it like that, like by oh. the like he was trying to peg a tent. Is the <laughs> and it was just loads of, and the punchline was it looked like Arsene Wenger's coat. Because it was just <laughs> loads of it, just like it was mad. See when you do this, that's I imagine like when people like whistled on bags. Yeah, 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 a bit like that. <laughs> that's what he's trying to do. <laughs> I love that where you bring up something that like six people probably, but I remember it. But people yeah. are like, "Whoa, is that what you used to do for fun in the streets?" Do it in people used to whistle on bags. Do it in school. Yeah, like that's loud. Yeah, there's, there's loads of people watching this podcast now in like Surbiton that are like, "What do these people like do?" Like blowing over the top of a bottle, so go. Hoo, 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 hoo. <laughs> oh. That old, isn't it? Oh. Unbelievable. Hundred percent. Yeah. What about the? I still do it. Do you remember in school ever? Because yeah? I didn't remember this oh. earlier. He's had never gone through this. <laughs> do you ever remember being in school and yeah. whether it was you or someone else, but someone was getting off at like 12 to go on a holiday or to like a... The dentist. A dentist. So they were in their own clothes. Nah. Yeah, it's a rogue one, like, you know. I think maybe they just let you off. No. People are... I feel like it happened like three times a week in our Put school. Put it this way, I think I've, there's more people gone the dentist in their school uniform yeah then gone to school in their dentist clothes <laughs> we're going on holiday so he's going to school in the morning with flip-flops shorts <laughs> sunglasses on like airport that. pipe in like... the canteen <laughs> i don't want him missing the, sc- yeah. the morning of school <laughs> i'm going on my holly bobs after french <laughs> <laughs> but, but like I feel you like don't that want to did be happen. Retired. They were like they, they were go they were going on holiday, but they were there for the morning because like the school were all like, well, if your flight's not so five, then he can he, he doesn't have to miss that bit. Because there was all rules where that you can't take your kids I out of school for holiday. You still was, can't. Yeah, but you still can't. It doesn't matter. It's, it's like you can't take your kids out, but if you come in in the morning, you can. You still can't. Like yeah, so, but you may. Here's well... what I think's mad is you're not allowed to take your kids out of school to take them on holiday, but you can homeschool your own kids if you want. So why don't you just say, oh, I'm going to homeschool them for two weeks and then go, oh, I've changed my mind. That's I'm homeschooling you... now. I'm taking them out of school. Two weeks later, you can have them back. I love that, where you have come up with something where it just seems so simple. Like, And I agree, but there must be... like There, there better be a good reason, because that is exactly what yeah, you said. Yeah, I don't think you get to homeschool for two weeks because you're in the Argarve. <laughs> we just, we're doing forest school, you know, near a golf course. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying you lie to the school and say, I'm going to homeschool them from now on. And two weeks later, you just go, do you know what, tag your date, you can have them back. It's right, like, yeah. my, do you know, it's, hack, it's probably hack comedy, this, but you know, like, this, the McDonald's straw is cardboard, but the plastic thing yeah. over the top, like, why don't they swap that? Because it'd be better. Yeah. It's because a lid can't get stuck up a turtle's nose. Mate, that turtle has it's got a, a fucking lot to answer for. Oh, mate. If I, I ever see that turtle, it's on site. I, I would 100% right now, if you said to me, you can have plastic straws back, but instantly every turtle on the planet will die. Kill them. By the way, shout out KO Grill on Bowl Street who don't give a <laughs> fuck were, about they turtles. They were trying to get this done. <laughs> Lovely turtles. They <laughs> don't <laughs> care about it. They make some nice ground and do not get I, uh, plastic straws. I just went straws. to the coffee shop around the corner, that bean, mm. and that, that's plastic straws. So it can't, that's the- It's coming back. <sighs> it's like Shane Gillis is getting rid of cancel culture comedy. Yes. <laughs> Restaurants are going, do you know what? Fuck turtles, I want convenience. No one gives a fuck about turtles. Nobody enough to have like soggy milkshakes. It's not the law, is it? Like it's not like a. a it's just long. more. It's an expense, probably. Oh, so they put it's the place tax on it, yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they'd have to pay more. It's, the mean, restaurants could do. I don't it, want but. turtles to die. Like I'd be, I'd like it if we could have plastic straws that don't kill turtles. I think that's where we need to be looking. We need better straws. I'd like to save the turtles. Educate turtles. Like I genuinely would rather like invent nose guards for turtles. Yeah. <laughs> Where it's like a gauze, where they can still breathe, but you know, like the thing you put in the sink when you do the washing up, so yeah, the spuds yeah, yeah. can't get stuck down there. Like a little fucking bay and turtles everywhere. Yeah, yeah nice. and I just think that would be better, like little mesh. Yeah. Also, 
How do we don't know the turtles don't like it? They could be flexing. Yeah. Like, get on my new straw. Maybe they're all just big fucking Charlie heads. And nah, maybe they were doing that fucking... thing where you pretend to be Britney Spears with a little... <laughs> 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 yeah, they're all just flexing. Like, no, get that out. Like, whoa, lad, the fucking took me ages to find it. Yeah. Turtles need to stop doing stars in their eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's killing them. Especially that one that blacked up doing Stevie Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> one of the best videos on the internet. Like, easily. Oh, I think it might be the best. Yeah. It's the, it's in the conversation. But the, the, the detail, it's not even the blacking up for me. It's the fact that getting they, led down the stairs it's the yeah. getting led down and the stairs that was, could, was that holland again yeah no, greece, greece. Greece. Oh, it was greece oh, was it greece? Yeah, oh. Yeah, yeah. holland would have, the holland were gutted that that happened there first though <laughs> i love it that they went listen he's you know he's doing it it's a woman so we might it's as well woman. might as well guide her down uh -huh. oh, i love and it she's, and she's going where's the piano or the keyboard <laughs> <laughs> But maybe they're just like they're not sunglasses; they're just black. Maybe they like they made us. Oh yeah, so, so she maybe she doesn't know where the piano is. Yeah, it's immersive. <laughs> <laughs> She's the Daniel Day Lewis of stars in their eyes. Oh, she goes fucking ham on it. By yeah. the looks of it, foreign stars in their eyes is well better than like UK stars in their eyes. Yeah, and all the Britons got talent. When you're like Hungary, Hungary's got talent. It's always so fucking random. I like it. We should I like do it. the. What? We should Ooh. do stars in their eyes. Hungarian. Yeah, stars yeah you have to do it in there. The winner of Malaysia's in Got Magia. Talent uh, did a country song. Um, Beyonce. And he, he's, he sounds like he's from Texas, but he is like full Malaysian. He's not like American Asian. He's Malaysian. And he sounds <laughs> like a Malaysian. Texan country artist. <laughs> that's, how, that's how into country music you are. You're watching Malaysian... Malaysia's got I, talent. I Malaysia's got talent. I think it'll blow your mind if you hear the voice come out of this fella. You look gonna get struck. What? I don't think so. You can cut it. He's Malaysian. <laughs> <laughs> what I do Man think we again. should bring from Stars in the Rise is the uh, whenever someone does something for two seconds, just oh, a clap. Oh, yeah, the first. Like, you know, like, so say you go to the checkout after they do two. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, because they, they initially as soon sang as they and they went. It, they did, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Line, like, Anything, oh. the bus just sets off. It's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> oh, that yeah, sounds yeah. like maybe. Yeah, I said maybe. <laughs> I think they should do that with everything. The first portion of the, anything. Just well the first done. of anything. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'd, as soon as I start having sex with my wife, just a few yeah, pumps and then. Yeah. You know what, Dan? <laughs> You get arrested, well, you have the right to rip. Oh, he's nailing that's these the, Mirandas, that's mate. The, that's the sound of me. Stars of my ass. <laughs> he's desperately trying to find Malaysian. Oh my God, he's got it. Hello. Yeah, it, it. Damn. <laughs> Damn. That's, that's a yard. I heard, I heard the sound. Oh, no, v, not even VAR on that. I thought he said Vietnamese. <laughs> right. Mongolia. What? what? It's from Mongolia. Mongolia's oh. got talent. Society. <laughs> if he starts, but I, if he sounds so Malaysian, it's Mongolian, it's going to make my day. Right. I'm just, just pause it. Pause it. I'm telling you now, I can see the guy. He doesn't look like you think he looks. I'm going to back up Adam here. Let me see. Fucking hell. Genghis Khan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you sat on that. <laughs> I was oh, waiting. All, all from Michael Flatley's cock. <laughs> <laughs> any other celebrity encounters? Probably, but like if you met any celebrities, like what the fuck were they doing? We got one last week. All the, the, uh, the motorbikes in the arcades. Mm. Old Richard Johnson kept refusing to get off to let this kid on. They just kept. Yeah, I haven't got it. anything as good as that. That's fucking superb. Isn't Have it? we got any sent in, Finn? Yeah, we've got a few. Uh, this one's from Oliver Johnson. When I used to work in the LSC shop, we had a bunch of books from former players. One day, John Barnes came in the store and asked me where his book called The Uncomfortable Truth About Racism was. I showed him. He then bought every single copy of his book we had in the store and left. <laughs> <laughs> what? I love Someone went in and bought his own. John Barnes, John Barnes bought all went in and bought every copy of his book. It's mad that they, they're like, I know it's like stupid, but the fact that he couldn't find his book, though, about racism. Oh, we've segregated it. It's over there, <laughs> mate. <laughs> <laughs> like, that is bad. He's gone in, where's the racism book? Oh, somewhere over there. <laughs> we've got one, the Kenny Dalglish one's here, right front centre. You'd buy a copy of your own book. If, if you... I wrote a book, when I write a book and it's in Waterstones, I will go in and buy a copy of it. Yeah, but, but John, John Barnes is trying to make it seem like his book's doing really well. Yeah. 
He's just drowning in his own racism, but he does seem mad as fuck, John Barnes, doesn't he? I've said it before. I love John Barnes. I... That's how I know you're not racist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I don't think... I think there's, like, there's a few that it doesn't matter, and John mm -hmm. Barnes is one of them, and, like, Muhammad Ali's another one. CTA, so so racist people can still like Muhammad Ali. Yeah. But they probably only refer to him as Cassius Clay. <laughs> <laughs> but What do they refer to John Barnes as? Jonathan Barnes. <laughs> 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 but do you know what I mean? Like you, you know when you like, I'm, you know your dad's like, oh, I tell you what, I, I, uh, but he's all right. That way, I feel like that. I feel like John Barnes was was one of those examples. If you know what I'm trying to say, quite yeah. ham fisted, but I think you know what I'm trying there's to say. There's a video we're referencing now. There's a scouse like viral video where there's a an old fella on a bus and he's having a go with these two girls for like whatever. You don't really see that bit of the video. And then he's getting off and they go, go on, get off, you fucking racist. He goes, racist? Me? I'm a fucking, I fucking love John Barnes. Oh my God. Johnny Barnes is the best fucking footballer ever played in Liverpool football club, you fat yeah. fucking twat. You <laughs> fat cats up here, twat. Yeah, these, but they're the same, they're, they're the mad racists that are like, oh, I love him so much. And you're like, oh, he's moving in next door. Oh, uh, I think we're looking for somewhere else to live. Like that's the-, the He's the, the token, I like black people. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. There's, yeah. There's a few. And yeah, John all Barnes football is... fans who boo a racist at games against the opposition team who's got like a black player. Yeah. There will be someone from an ethnic minority on their team. They're like, nah, nah, they're, they're fine. The best yeah. video of that was when Hulk was getting it in Russia. You get, I like, hate green like... people. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate them. Uh, <laughs> people, people making uh, monkey noises like a lot of the crowd. And he picks the ball up and scores a fucking ridiculous goal. But it was cancelled for handball because he picked it up. <laughs> <laughs> no, the crowd just goes silent. And it's like, ah, fucking unbelievable. He just spoke with his feet. Amazing. Such a good video. Yeah. See Vinicius Jr. the other day. No, he, he kind of goads it, doesn't he? Well, he, he scored against, was it Valencia? Where he, he scored against one of the V1s from um, <laughs> Spain. No, no, no. And it's where he got racially abused last year and he, he picked the ball up and he stood on the centre circle and just did that. Sick. And they, they're all just going mad at him. Spain's, it's, it's Spain's such a stand. mad, isn't it? Spain and Italy are bad for around. Even France. And Russia think. worse. Yeah. But he, he, he silences them. They stop. Spain's bad. Italy's bad. France is bad. Russia's bad. America's not great. The UK's getting worse. It's pretty bad out there for black people, guys. <laughs> <laughs> And that's what we want you to take away from this. If there's any black footballers, you know, think about what you're playing. Because apparently Wales is sound. <laughs> yeah, you can go and play with TNS. I, in my <laughs> head, I, the Welsh I, I would have put money on you going on TNS there. Do you know what's mad though? It They're not, it's not even a Welsh team. Oswald Street. It's from Oswald Street, it's England. Total Network Solutions. Yeah, it's the, Os they used to be Oswald Street Town and Oswald Street's in England. They've won like 10 of the last 11 titles. It's a... It's like the Bundesliga, the Welsh League at the minute. <laughs> it's a disgrace. Money's ruining the game. Yeah. Harry Kane's going to they're the, they're the only fact they've not got any. <laughs> they're a professional team. Everyone else is just... But yeah. haven't they been called like 10 different acronyms of TNS now? Because when Liverpool played them in the in the qualifying round of the 2006 Champions League, they were total network solutions, yeah. but they're not that they're anymore. Not, they've been the new Saints for like It's because like basically it was like Vauxhalls having a team. Yeah. And it's the factory team. Yeah, and you can't really say that your league's a professional outfit if the factory team is winning. <laughs> like, so they have nine to, of the last ten. Yeah, so they well, have to. Originally, a lot of football clubs are like factory teams. Sheffield aren't they? Wednesday, famously, because they got Wednesdays off to play football. Like with the when they brought isn't in... isn't Wolfsburg still essentially the Volkswagen team? Oh, probably. I think the badge is very. Uh, if you look no, but I mean they, yeah. they, they they were started as like yeah, this is the factory team, the did zookeepers. See, did you see Wimbledon beat the Dons today? Oh, yeah. did they? Yeah, in the last minute. Yeah. So good. Fuck them. So such a Some of them man. old gangsters are quite fat though. <laughs> the Don the Dons. Yeah, all right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, we'll, we'll do one more. I don't think we're topping Michael Hartley's <coughs> penis. Um this cool. is from Jack Leary. Celebrity encounter. I was in Baccaro last Friday and Adam Rowe was there having a meal. I went to the toilet just before we left, and Adam had just been in the cubicle and left a huge shit in the toilet. Thanks for that. By the way, this weird celebrity encounters, this is the second one about Adam now. No, I don't believe it. Nah. Also, you left the shit in the toilet. <laughs> You'd have flushed it, I hope, in a public fucking restroom. I will have flushed it. Oh, no, I think you, I if, did I mean... do a big power more. <laughs> <laughs> well done. You, don't I, get me I wrong, you, Carl. You if I'm it. not flushing one, it's going to be in 
a public restroom. Oh, really? Oh, well, I'm not, no. I'm not going to leave I it. I didn't not flush it, by the way. What he means is I've had a shite and he's walked straight in after me and been punched in the face by it. Yeah, okay. the Americans have got that right, man, with the little tap, 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 footy thing, the footy flush. Yeah. That's well better. I'm like, I don't want to touch it. American yeah. toilets are too low and the water's too high. It scares me. Yes. The shit float drown. Your bollocks and touch the water. Yeah. Not into it. That is a bugbear of mine, though, is like he that he might have inherited it. Like if you, you know, when you go in a public toilet, it doesn't matter what state it's in. As soon as you go in it, it's your responsibility. It's your responsibility. You can't go out and go, oh, that was probably people, the two people before <laughs> yeah. me. I have cleaned. I am not messing around. Yeah. In a fucking coffee shop. Yeah. Where it's one, one toilet for everyone. Man, woman, child, the disabled. It. That. <laughs> That's, that's like, you know what I mean? And there's, you, you know there's people waiting and you walk in and there's fucking piss on the seat. I will get toilet paper out and I will dry it because yeah. I cannot be the person who's like, oh, you dirty con. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you end up working in Nero because you'd rather that than someone think that you've like I never, pissed on the floor. I don't mm. want to do it, but I cannot walk out and be like, yeah, there's piss everywhere. Especially it's if not the disabled me. out there. Do you know what I meant? It's the disabled toilet. I just, I pluralized it. Yeah, no, we knew it really what you meant. Bad. I pluralized it No, terribly. we knew what you meant. I know yeah. we knew what I meant. That little S is just the... If it gets yeah. clipped out, I'm fucked, but it's fine. Yeah, you know. Nah, it's all right. Just say you meant you were talking French. <laughs> the disabled. <laughs> is he an F1 fan? <laughs> it was the late toilet. <laughs> Should we do some other words? <laughs> I tried to piss everywhere. <laughs> Cock house in time. <laughs> The disabled toilet is the biggest toilet to run around in, ironically. Space for the chair, Carl, isn't it? Johnny Graham says... <laughs> <laughs> these, these are have a word. Uh, write in to haveawordpod at gmail.com. And if you want them to get through to Harry Robinson quicker, sign up to Patreon, patreon.com slash haveawordpod. The biggest patron in the UK. Johnny Graham says, Hey, lids, have a word with my mate Joe. We work in our local pub, and whenever we are clearing or scrapping plates for the pot washers, he eats the fucking food off the plates. It's absolutely vile. The manager has had countless conversations about this with him, and it needs to be stopped. Kind regards, and that's from Johnny Graham. He's disgusting, but I don't know who the fucking manager thinks he is getting involved with that. Yeah. You can't eat leftovers. Who used to tell me that? Pay me more so I can afford better dinners then? I had a mate who worked in there, and she used to... So if someone left like half a steak, she'd just cut where they were cutting. Yeah. And then that's a new steak, isn't it? Yeah. yeah Mate, it... I, hang on, who's the victim here? If he doesn't give a fuck about like disease or getting germs. Disease? No one's, disease. he's not, he's not, he's not. If you're eating it on the way out, yeah, that's bang out of order, isn't it? Yeah, if you're oh, walking pizza past looks nice. taking a chip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Get back that's to the kitchen before Once you start. it's come back into the kitchen, if he's a does big he... lad and he's hungry, I don't know. What about John? He... Cause a bowler. He had the last of someone's salmon. <laughs> <laughs> well, couldn't you get herpes from a fucking garlic bread? If they had herpes, yeah. What? So I'm saying. If they've been munching it and you had the, it's a past, isn't it? On Doesn't the garlic isn't it isn't herpes like vampires? Like doesn't the garlic <laughs> well, like herpes? Like, yeah, just like dissolves the herb. That sounds like an African president. Don't worry about it. Garlic dissolves it. It's fine. You can't get herpes. That's what I told. <laughs> Every one of my girlfriends. But he is right. This guy is obviously underpaid because kitchen porters aren't paid a lot of money. Yeah. So he must be, you know. Uh, also, I think he's a greedy fat fuck. So I think there's that as well. Uh, Maybe he is. You know, you're taking, uh, you might be right. No, 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 no. I get it. Depends. But he might just be a greedy fuck who look, likes eating. But I still, either case, who's he harming? It depends. What's the problem? It? What's the restaurant as well? Because if like, if it's like an upscale restaurant and like that, that might be the only like fifty pound fillet steak that that guy might ever see, but if if it's like Nando's and he's like just finishing the wings and that, that's different. But if it's like posh food that you will never be able to pay for or want to go and find yeah. dining, is that about it? A little bit of salmon mousse or like squirrel foam or whatever it is. Yeah. I've you know when you go to a restaurant, it's busy and you're absolutely starving and your food hasn't come yet, and there's a table next to you who've already gone and you've seen them leave and they're not in that bad of shape. There is a little bit of me who'd go, I'd have a bit of that. Wow. When I'm hungry enough. Wow. I, I'm not arsed. I'm not arsed. It doesn't, when people are like, that is disgusting. That's more metal than this. this. No, it's exactly the same thing. In terms of the germs. No, it's not. No, it no hang on, not hang on, hang on. I've never done it, but I get the instinct of like, well, I don't find yeah. it that appalling. So is, is this weird? Because I felt like doing it a few times and I've nearly done it, but I've never done it. 
So say I order, because I'm I'm a greedy fat fuck and I like to taste food more than I want to eat it. So for example, I'll like order four sides because I want one onion ring. I want a little bit of garlic bread. I want, do you know what I mean? Like yeah. I want one chicken finger. I'm that guy. So I've done it where I've ordered loads more food and I've hardly touched it. And then as I was leaving, I felt like going to the table and, hey, do you want these onion rings? That's different though. No, but it, I feel weird doing that. I feel like someone would go, oh no, I don't want oh, your I onion never, rings. I wouldn't even say it because you'd expect the reaction that everyone's just given me. Yeah. But if, I, by the way, I've been for lunch with you. It is great fun because when you're the other person on the table, you're like, cool, well, I'll have one of each of these things as well. <laughs> but I don't think it's that gross. I know you'd be like, oh, it's disgusting, Dan. I couldn't give a fuck. I don't think it's disgusting. I'd just be like, what the fuck is he doing? Yeah. Wait, just wait. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're about to have your dinner. I'm not I'm asked about this kid. I yeah, free starter, innit? This is fine. This is yeah. totally fine. Absolutely. I mean, it's a bit opinion. manky, but I just don't think anyone should be telling them what to do. You can't you can't judge him. You don't know what his circumstances. Walk a mile in his shoes. Yeah. yeah. KP shoes stinks as well. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like <laughs> shit clogs, innit? <laughs> Uh, one more and then we'll get out of here. Nikki says, hi there, Lids. Lady patron here. Not sure if you need to have a word with me for being a miserable bastard or the people I'm writing about. People use communal areas as if they are in their own home. This is especially true at our local leisure center where you're trying to relax in the steam room after a workout. For example, a couple of ladies nattering about their kids' work, mundane bullshit. And then a guy comes in and he's brought his own essential oil bottle, dropped it in the steam outlet without checking whether everyone... Uh, likes fucking tea tree and the gym bro who brings in a handful of ice from the uh, machine outside and whacks it against the steam outlet. To be fair, I am menopausal, but I've started my Zen spiritual journey recently. I'm trying to practice tolerance, but when my 15 minutes of steam meditation time is blighted by these knob jockeys, I could easily engage drop kick mode, probably knackering my hip in the process. Keep up the good work, gents. And that's from Nikki in Cheshire. I think it's the, it's the first man rule. First one in gets to do whatever they want to it and everyone else has to adhere to whatever they've done to it until the first person leaves. If I'm in the steam room, you I can put all my room. oils and ice and everything on, do whatever I want. If you come in, you don't alter it until I've gone. But that's the opposite about what you said about the toilet. What do you mean? Well, that's first man rule. You go in the public toilet, do whatever the fuck you want to it, and then you have to go in and deal with it. Yeah, but I think there's That's a big a difference between putting a bit of uh, <laughs> Vaseline in the steam room. Then yeah, I'm shitting all over the steam room. That's and do you know what? By that... the way, a fella used to shave in the steam room. Oh, I've seen it loads, I like in the it. sauna. I that, saw it two weeks ago. That used to annoy. I'm like, lad, come on. Just because you're sweating, he's a ball, proper ball dude. The one that like bicks the oh, red. This fella shaves his beard, and he's he, just in there, and the, like you almost can't question it because he just he's like, I've been doing this for years. Just quiet, just slowly, just like yeah. pulling Probably the rays around his. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> That's first man rules. We never years. <laughs> mate, I don't know. Is it gross? I kind of yeah. enjoy the. That is. It's like brushing your teeth in there as well. I couldn't give a fuck. Right, hang on. So on your theory, you go in. There's no one in there. You stick your little tea tree oil, a little bit of scent of vanilla. I don't know what you stick in there. A bit of ice, and, and it's all steamy and scenty, and it's lovely. Someone comes in after you and goes, all right. And then you go, yeah, a little bit more tea tree. Or is it you just run it because you when you did it, no one was there? Are you saying you get free reign to do it whenever? No, it's mine. Nah. <laughs> right, hang on. So three more people come in. There's 15 <laughs> minutes gone by. And you don't go, hey, everyone into tea tree and vanilla. Do you just do it? And if someone goes, do you mind? You go, hey, Bagsy. <laughs> I shotgunned this fucking steam room. I was here before you. <laughs> I mean, you, you cunts came in at 10 to 2. Been here since half one. Is that is that the theory? Where does it stop as well? Like, you start, you take your fucking George Foreman to the bus stop. And like, oh, there's no one else at the bus stop. I'll start knocking up a fry up. No, because like, that's not a reasonable thing to do, Danny, is it? Uh, the but it's room. like people, have you seen people ironing on trains? Wow. Oh. Yeah, using the on their way to meetings it and says stuff. Says no bike and irons on the That's why. Well. That's not for them. That's why. Yeah, because it, <laughs> why they, there was well, an epidemic at one point. Well, they wouldn't have put it. Couldn't move for pandas. <laughs> no, but they wouldn't have put it normally. You wouldn't go. Hey, when you do them sockets, make sure you put no microwave in. That's happened because someone's done it. That's what, some prick has eaten silica gel and they've gone right. You're gonna have to write do not eat on that now. That's, that's true, what it it's is. true. Until someone uses an active fry on a train, you don't need to put a side. <laughs> exactly, exactly. No fucking ninjas. So you can still do it. S separate one. <laughs> 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 yeah, but there's a different story. 
<laughs> no way. Can we Mobiles and laptops only, and no ninjas as well. <laughs> Put that sword away. <laughs> Take your mask down. Oh, people are bad in the sauna. I love Listen, the sauna. It's meant to be relaxing. In the steam it's, room, it's the fucking... if I've already put my oils on and then they come in and then 10 minutes later I put a bit more oil on and they go, what are you doing? I'd go, the fuck are you moaning nah. about this stupid old cunt? <laughs> <laughs> You've been breathing it in since you come in. Yeah. In order to add it on it, and put this your is big mine until I want it no more. <laughs> go and get your own steam room. The best game in the steam room, I've told you, is beating the man who came in after you. Yeah, yeah. staying longer. Game. I come in, you come in two minutes later. I will suffocate in here before I leave before you. I will make you feel like less of a man. I came in before you and you're leaving now. The second he goes, I'm gone though. I, I will try and play that game with everyone at Total Fitness, apart from the one conspiracy theory dude who I've been in the sauna with twice in the last four weeks. He is a fucking nightmare. He's never chatted directly to me, but whoever he's bending the ear off, he talks the biggest load of shit and I cannot try and beat him because I can't last his ball. I would pay extra at the gym to have a steam room, that, a sauna, sorry, that just has no talking. I would lo I would love a silent sauna. Last last time, I, I I was like, just ignore him, just ignore him. He was talking about Trump winning the election. And then he went, yeah, and you know, obviously it's all going to kick off here. The government are going to take control. And that's why you see all these immigrants doing jobs like, uh, you know, traffic warden, because they're basically employing uh, foreign immigrants and giving them power so that when it all kicks off and the government take control, they'll oh. give, they went, he went, he went, you can't he will, he'll, they'll give them guns. They'll give them, <laughs> they'll give them guns and they'll be able to rape, murder and, 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 you know, take over and they won't have any connections to the locals. And I went, wow. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> The most mental conspiracy thinks that people are working for the government on like, as traffic wardens, they're preparing oh us God. for the government takeover. You're like, you can't employ locals. They won't do the work of the overlords. Mental, I'm out. The fucking sauna is so, I, I don't, I'll take tea tree oil over batshit conspiracy <laughs> any day. Maybe he wants control of the sauna. And he's like, ha ha, oh. no beds. And then puts tea tree and goes, <laughs> Oh, he's so Do bad. Do you hear Dan got shot? What happened? Single yellow before six. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, the annoying thing is, the really annoying thing is, I had seen a ch Chinese traffic warden the week before. What? I noticed Why is that, that annoying? Because <laughs> in my head, I was like, I sort of know what it means, oh. but I don't want to concede the point. In Chester? No, in Manchester. Oh, right. I was going to say, in Ch that's mad in Chester. I believe him. <laughs> Chester's the whitest, it's the yeah. whitest place on earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apart from Spanish children. What? Well, I mean, like, they're the only... You know when people are like, what's the ethnic minority of, like, the city? Chester, it's basically French, Italian, and Spanish children on when a school trip. When you said Spanish children, I thought you... When you said Spanish, I thought you were going to talk about, like, a district, like, Spanish Harlem. <laughs> Apart from Spanish Hool. You know that bit of Hool? The Spanish Quarter Chester. Yeah, Spanish and that's quarter. weirdly the whitest place on it. <laughs> There's no Hispanic kids. No. Oh, my God. That guy um, in the gym. Danny, tell everyone where they can find you on the internet and if you've got anything you want to plug. Uh, I'm on Instagram. Uh, Danny MC Comedy, that's it really. Okay. Uh, I've got a little podcast coming soon, uh, I think. Maybe not, but just follow me on there <laughs> and you'll the find most it. you sentence I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is, it, it'll be good as well, but um, yeah, some new things are coming. Uh, human eye emoji. Ooh. That's it. That was me doing my eye emoji. <laughs> Uh, I'm on tour, Adam Rodecode UK forward slash tour. He's doing his um, Dan Nightingale and Finn shows, DanNightingale.com. And Finn is Wait. someone going to sing us a lovely oh, little sorry. song. Sorry, I'm on tour. Forgot that. Uh, that, was a big, that was a big one. <laughs> I've, got I've got two tour shows left one at Hot Water in April and one in Belfast in April. And I'd like to sell some tickets. Go and tickets. see Danny. He smashes. Tickets on your Instagram? No, tickets on their websites. Okay. Um, so hot water and what's the Belfast venue? It's the limelight. The limelight. Yeah. yeah. Come on, uh, so the best man in comedy. This is a band that uh, we, me and Danny know these guys from Chester, Campfire Social. I bumped into Tom from Campfire Social. They are Hello, great we guys. we are Campfire Social, and this is Fiddling With Pigs. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of their it's, best tracks. It's called Swim, Swam, Swam. <laughs> yeah. I prefer Fiddling With Pigs. Do you know? It's the B-side. Hey, can I just say? These two slagging off every band that like put a submission in is sound until you know the people. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, you've answered message, I'm not going, lad, you call my band as though the shit is great. And I go, lad, I'm so yeah, sorry. We love it, oh, we right. love it, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> fiddling with pigs. And this is fiddling with pigs. <laughs> no! Just play the fucking 
fucking song. Oh, well, we are Campfire Social. This is Swim Swam Swum. Goes out to Finn. Mm. See you, everyone. <laughs>